Hello everybody, welcome back. We're going to play The Sims 4 because we have a lot of build to finish. <laughs> we started building a giant castle yesterday uh, and we haven't really furnished it yet. So we're gonna try and do all the rest of the furnishing today of the giant castle is the goal. Um, couple things just to get ahead of it. Uh, I am aware that there's a black screen in my YouTube video. It just takes a minute for YouTube to update. When you like edit on YouTube, it takes a minute for it to update. Sometimes when I record videos in like two halves, sometimes Dan leaves a black screen in the middle by accident. It's not a big deal. It takes like two seconds to fix, but you know, before you panic, it's okay. <laughs> I know, just get ahead of the comments because the chat is gonna be like, hey, what did you know? <laughs> they always mean well, but sometimes they get overwhelmed when there's like 30 people saying it. So anyway, there's that. And also um, EA finally gave the giveaway codes. Uh, so we didn't have the codes from the pack until this morning. <laughs> I think we got them at like 11 o'clock this morning, my time, um, which is like almost a full 24 hours after um, the pack came out. <laughs> uh, but it's okay. I don't really understand what has changed because they used to send out codes to the kids like within a couple hours after the kit came out. And now it's like, ah, oh, maybe the next day you'll get the codes. Okay, um, so anyway. <laughs> This is why like all these youtubers buy it because they don't send the codes out so you can't you, they can't be trusted You know, um, which is kind of weird because you would think that they want you to cover it like but anyway, whatever doesn't matter <laughs> I don't know what happened, but they're uh, not as good at getting the codes out So anyway, I thought we would have the giveaway codes yesterday because we always do before but recently it's not been so good But I have them now so we can do giveaways of this pack now uh, We just couldn't do it yesterday. So I was like a liar <laughs> Uh, you didn't see goth galore on on origin or you can't see the pack to purchase you can buy the packs from in game as well technically um, if it's if you want to buy it and it's like not loading for you or whatever um, that is possible so um, they know you just buy anyway I don't know if they necessarily want that but it's not just me. The thing is, I'm not complaining necessarily about me. I'm I'm complaining about the giveaway codes because they said that I would have them and then I didn't. And then here I was being like, guys, we're going to do a giveaway. And then there was no codes to give away. It's more like, because I can afford to buy the kits. And like, I always used to even before, like, the, they started being so slow. It's, there's a lot of Sims creators that can't afford to buy the kits. Especially if you get told, hey, you're going to get a code for the kits and you don't have $10 to spare to buy the kits and you wanna make a video on it, you wanna show your audience and it's like, oh, maybe you'll get it in the next two days. So it just kind of sucks for those people, you know, the, the creators that were told you're gonna get a code and then you don't. Um, but anyway, <laughs> it doesn't matter that much. It's whatever, the codes are out now, so it's fine. But that's why I talk about it more. It's not so much about me. I'll buy them, I don't really care. Um, just don't wanna seem like a liar when I'm saying I have codes that I don't to give away. <laughs> um, okay, so if you weren't here yesterday, we started building a absolutely ginormous castle. Um, and we're gonna try and do most of the furnishing today. Yeah, this is the thing, right? Like they're sort of, the, the deal is that these people like essentially promote the pack for free. They don't have to say nice things about it. You can say whatever you want about it, but like, you know, you get the, the thing and then you make videos about it. And anyway. <laughs> Um, no, no one's getting them sooner, Kaylaverse. And it, I, it's not because the group, it's not like I didn't get it late and someone else got it. It's like no one got them until today. And I don't think it has to do with the size of the group getting them. Because it's like somewhat automated as well on the website. So I, it's like they're not generating the codes fast enough or something. I don't really understand what's changed. Because it used to be fine. <laughs> and now it's not. <laughs> so... Anyway, yeah, it's a big castle that we've been working on. Most of it, um, there's like a lot of outdoor, like courtyard space almost. Um, and then we have, as you can see, a lot to furnish still. <laughs> um, we haven't really furnished it at all. So we have a lot of furnishing to do. Uh, poor souls, thank you for the gifted subs. Thank you so much. Um, thank you, I really appreciate that. Anyway, want to recommend this pack? Um, I, for, a, for the right person, I would recommend this pack. Not everybody is gonna like this pack, you know? Like, not everybody is, is gonna enjoy building a castle. It's way better than I thought it was gonna be. I thought there wasn't gonna be enough stuff to do a full castle, but like, look, I was able to create like this whole exterior pretty much. Um, but it's very specific, like the kind of person that would like this. Um, so I don't know what you like to do 
Um, but it's, you know, a very specific kind of person will be interested in building a castle. And if you're not, then like, don't waste your money on it. You know, not everybody cares about this. <laughs> um, a lot of people only like to do like furnishing of, you know, their Sims homes and stuff. And so a thing like this is completely useless to you. Um, but you know, you know what you want. <laughs> the kits are very niche. Like they're, they aren't necessarily meant to broadly appeal to everybody. They have like very specific target audiences. <laughs> um, and a castle is, not everybody is in that target audience, right? Um, but is there like evil colored swatches? Um, there's like dark colors, if that's what you mean. There's also like dirty swatches of it too, if you wanted it to look like, like there's some dirt at the top of it. Um, but there's, you know, like there's like a solid black kind of thing if you wanted to use that. How do I make the bridge over the moat? Oh, it's just a, a foundation. This is like a foundation trim. It's like one of these stilt foundations that we have. So, um, what have you, would you have bought the kit if you weren't a creator? The castle kit? Yeah, I, I am the target audience for the castle kit. <laughs> I like to build <laughs> um, and I like castles. This is like, I, this is like really channeling my inner child because I used to daydream about doing this kind of thing in The Sims when I was a kid. I would like make up kingdom storylines in my head when I was a child. So this is like, I, I love to build, I love this kind of build and I have a history degree. Like I'm the target audience for this. <laughs> Um, so that, yeah, I would have bought this if I wasn't a YouTuber. I wouldn't have bought the goth kit if I wasn't a YouTuber, but I, I wouldn't really buy any cast kit probably if I wasn't doing YouTube videos on it. Um, I don't really like feel a need to have creative sim kits for me and my game. I know a lot of people like them, but it's just not really my thing. Um, but it's not like a, a knock to the, the goth kit. I just don't really care for creative sim kits, you know? Um, cause I don't really do a lot of cast stuff, but you might be the opposite. You might be the target audience for the, the goth kit, you know? <laughs> like my friend Momo, absolutely thriving right now with the goth kit. I don't know if Momo cares about the castle kit, but um, <laughs> my, my moat looks so clean. You think so? Is yours dirtier? <laughs> anyway, um, knight statue. Oh, we've got a bunch of them. There's a bunch in this room so far in the throne room, if you will. Um, can we name the moat Momo? <sighs> Momo the moat? Momo's moat! Oh, it's Momo't! Momo't! <laughs> it's Momo's moat! Okay. Momo't. Sure. <laughs> well, I can play the Sims Medieval soundtrack again. Uh, minus the creepy Jesus music. That we can't do. That gives me the, the creeps a little. But we can play the medieval soundtrack. It feels right, you know? Sims medieval. Okay. Here we go. Creepy Jesus. Oh, you'll see. If you weren't here yesterday. So, so the Sims medieval soundtrack has like a, a kind of religious sounding song. It's not. It's like, you know, as if the Sims had a Jesus song. Is what it is. But you'll see when it plays. You'll know, you'll be like, oh. Oh. You know? <laughs> yeah, it'd be cool if we had like a whole medieval pack. I would like that. Um, again, I'm the target audience for that though. <laughs> okay, let me start thinking about the interior benches and stuff. Um, hey, Estoc and Lunar and D and Sean and Hannah and, and Sorla and Rezzy and Broken and Ab Abby and Red and Stresha and Daphne and Haley and Mark and Random and Kiwi and Miss Maurice. Thank you all for the subs, everybody. Lillian too. I'm, I'm so sorry, Lillian. Um, thank you. Thank you for the resub. I'm sending you a lot of love. I hope that we can be a distraction for you, friend. Um, and Holly and Fiery. Thank you all for the subs and bits, everybody. Um, do I have a pool for this place? Um, no, we're not going to put a pool in this house, I don't think. Do you kind of get what I mean though? When I say like this one, not so much. Listen to this. This is called the eyes of the watcher, this song. Do you understand now what I'm trying to say? Like I wasn't making it up. <laughs> I didn't I didn't just say it for no reason. <laughs> Should 
Should I put some chairs in here? Maybe. We'll listen to it while I'm doing this part. You know, working on this room, we'll, uh, listen. Yeah, it's because in Sims Medieval, um, there is a church in Sims Medieval, so they made the music, I think, for, like, that storyline, but, um, it fits! You need it, but... <laughs> Imagine this is in my Spotify rap! Well, the soundtrack, the whole Sims Medieval soundtrack on Spotify is, like, 30 minutes long. So I listened to it like six times yesterday. <laughs> We're doing it again today. That's 12 times for each song. <laughs> That's not a good sign. <laughs> it might actually end up in my Spotify wrapped. Like no joke. <sighs> I would be upset if it did. No, it, we, I'll, I, it won't end up in my Spotify wrapped. We have to listen to it a lot more than this. Um, in 2024, top song is The Eyes of the Watcher. <laughs> okay. Um, I was gonna look in vampires. I kind of want to get some of these tapestries in here. I think this would be good for- okay, see, now it's over. So you're fine, everybody, don't worry. Um, now it's called Humble Beginnings. Yeah, the Watcher is, like, God. The- the Watcher is also you. You are God. Does that make sense? The Watcher? I know. <laughs> we are. <laughs> uh, but it's kind of fun. It's a funny little, uh, reference, I guess, but... You are not God? Yeah, but to the Sims. Kinda. You know? Okay, I like that room so far. I think that's probably the best that I can do for them in there. I feel as though we need to work on this room a bit more too. Um, okay. You're new to Twitch, what are the eggs with hair? <laughs> Those are just points. Um, you, you earn points by watching the stream. Um, and you can redeem them for, like, little things. Eventually, if you've been here long enough, you can get, like, a role in our Discord server, um, and things like that, so. There- it's, like, fake currency. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Um, it- it's, you know, pretend money in- in, uh, Twitch streams. All streamers have, like, a different kind, and you earn them separately per stream, so. Um, yeah, the sword and shields item would be probably pretty good, too. Hold on. Sword. We have a couple. That's not really the one that I was picturing. I was more so thinking this one when I said that. I think that kind of works for the walls in here. This is like the banquet hall, by the way, in case that wasn't clear. Some plants. I don't know if I... Okay, this is going to sound so bad, but I don't know if I want to put plants. <laughs> I don't know if they should have plants. I don't know. Um, Hero and Sims and Bridget and Double and Basil, thank you for the subs. It's like almost too modern, you know, to have plants in here. Oh, we'll paint the ceiling, don't worry. We'll paint the ceiling. Um, I'm probably gonna do it last, uh, just, just to warn you, because it usually throws me off a little bit when I do it. Um, and sometimes it gets laggy and I get frustrated, so <laughs> I'll probably do the ceiling paint last, but I won't forget. Um, we will paint the ceiling. Um, one of the turrets could be a bathroom. We were gonna only have the bathroom up here. I guess we could make it into a- well, the problem is, right, and maybe I'm being dramatic about this, part of the issue with doing that is I would only want to use this door, and is that too small? Oh, it's not too bad. I mean, it could be a- we, we can make the turret into a bathroom. We can have bathrooms down here. Maybe they should have two. What if there's only a toilet and no sink? <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> just- just a toilet? There is a chamber pot, but I want it to be functional, I think. Should I use the debug one that you make? 
The wooden one? Hold on. Let me... So, there's like a scary wooden one, and then there's like a mahogany wooden one. Throne of Thrones. We can just put that. I guess the vampires one could be okay too, but is that too modern still? Even then? I don't know. I think- I think that it is a little too modern. I think that the wooden one is probably best. Cause even that is a little modern. Vampire has good vibes though. Yeah, I agree, but... It's not always about the vibes. Sometimes it's about... I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> it's not about the vibes though, I don't think. At least not for this. You are not gonna work. That is not gonna work either. Disaster. I wonder if that could work. Cause that's like two wooden things together. Maybe. That's quite fancy. Should it be ornate? I should use that somewhere. Please choose the golden toilet. I don't know, I think that's like, maybe we could use the golden toilet in the queen's room upstairs. These are like the gross toilets that are gonna be used by all of the people that come to stay in our castle. You know? No, we're not going for modernized. We're going for old with this. So, I kind of like it like this. I don't know. Maybe I make it gross inside of the bathrooms. Let's just put, instead of a ceiling light, let's just do one wall sconce. Does that make it feel better to you? I hope so. <laughs> Faye, Norfer, and, and uh, Little, and Moonpearl, and Lily, and Mara, thank you for the subs, everybody. We could get probably like, maybe there could be, I don't know, I kind of like the tapestry actually. Maybe I'll do a tapestry again in a different color. Maybe I'll get it in like that color. Fine, better, it's a bit creepy. Yeah, it's an old castle. Look, there's literally a dungeon in here with dead people. So it's fine. You can see the doors on the outside. Can you, do they clip? Oh no. Oh, that's very annoying. Hold on. We can... I can try and put columns in the corner to cover it. How much does it bother you? Oh, I think just deleted everything. Yeah, I did. How much does it bother you? No, it's not just the base game and the castle kit, unfortunately. There's a lot of packs in this one. Like a lot of packs in this one. <laughs> um, isn't it too fancy? Isn't what too fancy? The bathrooms? I wouldn't say so. The interior, the columns? What do you mean? It isn't creepy, it's just a little unusual. What, the bathroom? I think it's fine. I don't see the problem. Everyone seems to be really alarmed by this, but I don't see much issue with it. Okay, that one's there, that's fine. Um, it's just a bathroom. It's okay. 
Um, I'm wondering if in here... So people are asking also if there's going to be a ballroom, and here's my answer. I, I think that this room, they might move stuff out of the way, depending on the event they're trying to host. Right now it's set up for like a massive dinner sort of occasion, you know? But I, I like to imagine that they would swap it. Mostly because there's not that much space. <laughs> so... It has to be this way. <laughs> Sassy! Um, <laughs> Winter and Levy and Clarissa and Lady, thank you for the subs. How many saves do I have? Are you asking because you've seen the like multi-million number and you're like, what is wrong with you, Kayla? Because I don't actually have billions of saves. That would be ridiculous. Um, that's because I sometimes I edit the name, the numbers of saves. Um, I move like save files around back and forth between like backups and stuff a lot. And I'll just edit the number of it to be like a random number. And then it starts building from there. So no, I don't have billions of saves. I probably have like 30 saves. <laughs> Um, no, maybe more than that. Maybe like, you know, five or six that I actively use, but, um, maybe like 30 to 50 just in my game. Um, anyway, no need to panic about that. Globe bar. I think that would be good for us to have. Oh, maybe I should put that over here. Right? Can the organ fit in? Oh. I hadn't really considered that. Pipe organ, where are you? Hold on. Music. That's a fun idea. I'm into it. Vampires. Um. Maybe I could use that over there and I could swap this to be on this end of the building. Yes, I am playing the Sims Medieval soundtrack right now. If you're listening and thinking now, what's going on here? <laughs> it is the Sims Medieval. And that's okay. I don't know. I can't really tell. People are saying to put like a banquet table. I guess I could potentially have a table at one end. And then there would be food on this. Is it gonna be on the gallery? Of course, I put all my bills in the gallery. Organ in front of the window? Oh, I don't wanna block the window with it. Oh, that is clipping in the wall. <laughs> Sorry. I don't want it to do that, actually. I don't know if the globe bar is okay. I don't know. Okay. Okay. No, EA did not manage to make the codes for the pack yesterday, but I did get them at like 11 a.m. this morning, Nat. So I do have codes to do a giveaway of later. Not yet. Um, later. Okay. Um, I honestly think that this shouldn't have too much more in it. Isn't there a tabletop bar you could put on top of the banquet table? Um, there are like uh, drinks trays type things, if that's what you're talking about. Um, I don't know if they really stylistically make much sense in here. Maybe the tea does, but even then the colors don't really match the room. Maybe this one does. Um, but I don't know if that makes sense for this banquet. I think it's like almost too modern, all of this. And I don't like this one. We have the globe bar, and that's probably enough. So, could you shrink the globe bar and put it on the table? I'm okay with it being over there. I'm trying to set this up so that like we would imagine they would have, well also, they probably wouldn't have actually food. I'm listening to chat and not my own brain right now. They wouldn't have food laid out here. They would be bringing it to your place, but it is The Sims. So if you wanted to use it in The Sims, you'd probably lay out food here and then have them sit to eat. Tea set in the room is good. Guys, I know that, um, you know, people 
want to have more of this stuff, but <laughs> we need to be careful about how much we're putting. There's a decorative golden teapot, yeah, but I don't really want to put more on this banquet table because I'm trying to leave it so that you could fill it when you're playing. Does that make sense? I'm not- I don't think I'm explaining myself well. Um, the decorative golden tea set is- oh, I want to use this thing somewhere. The decorative golden tea set that they're talking about- I don't remember where it is, but it's like a gold thing. Um, but I want to leave that so you could lay out your food there if you wanted your sims to actually use this place. Like, I'm not gonna put any other furniture in the throne room either. Um... Intentionally. Okay. I- so I decided, if you weren't here yesterday, we've been struggling because the- the fence railing clips on this. So we've been kind of struggling with, like, how we want to lay this out. Um, and if we want to use that fence or not, because, you know, um, so we're not really sure about that either yet. Let me save the game quick. Maybe add some vines. We decided against adding vines to this house yesterday. Uh, I don't want to do like the overgrown thing on this castle. I, I don't think that it is overgrown right now. I think it's probably like extremely well kept. Um, and you know, maybe at some point in the future it would be overgrown, but I don't, right now that's not really what I'm picturing for it. Um, so. Okay, maybe I'll swap these. Yeah, I hate when the railings clip like that. It's lagging so bad. I think that should be okay. That will be fine. Um, maybe we get some sconces on either side of this archway too. Probably do sconces on either side of the bedroom doors upstairs as well. Maybe one up there. And maybe some down here. Ooh. Maybe I'll put them above the... doors. For this section. So it lightens it up. I don't know. When was the last time I saved? Didn't I save like two seconds ago? I'll do it again, just in case. Um... <laughs> Rara and Sarah and Benz and Maddie and Tippy Star, thank you for the subs. Um, okay, I think I like this. The music is from Sims Medieval, yeah. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> it feels um, it feels right to me today. So we need dungeons. We have some down here. You access them from the back in the walls. So. Please, paintings. Are you the same person who's been spamming over and over again about adding paintings? Because don't worry, <laughs> there will be paintings. <laughs> it's not like I don't know to decorate the walls, okay? You don't need to panic. I promise it's gonna be okay. <laughs> um, what if there's a wine cellar? People have been uh, really suggesting that a lot the past couple days too. I don't know if I care to add that or not, but we can see. Um, we can see. So, uh, everyone is very passionate about um, all of this today. They're very excited, so we'll make sure we get it to be nice, okay? <laughs> there are skeletons in the dungeon, yeah. Hopefully you like them, because I'm not getting rid of them. Okay, um, I don't know about this. Maybe I will just put them on the Sides. I don't really know about that either. Maybe I could like do that and maybe like uh, let me get my knight statue. Let's try it again. Yeah, imagine you like wake up and it's like the middle of the night and you're trying to go downstairs for something and you see this creepy knight statue just staring at you. That would be a shock. <laughs> That would be scary. Um, just leave the stone railing, it'll be fine when they fix it in an update. Ah, but the thing is, that requires them fixing it in an update, which 
They have never given any indication that they will. This is not like a new problem. <laughs> it's been happening for a long time <laughs> with various items in this game. And, and uh, there's never been any indication that they're going to fix it in an update. So um, it leads me to believe that they're probably not going to fix this one anytime soon either. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, I, I do not have high expectations for that. So. Um, I think the chess table is good for this. I kind of like it. Oh, that's too dark. Should I do this one? No, go back to how it was. Those are fine. Um, am I going to add fireplaces? Uh, we have a fireplace in here. There's not going to be one in here. And I don't really care to add one into this hallway. Um, because we didn't build it for that, really. But, um, maybe it should go in the tower. What, the chess table? It could. I don't know. I'd rather, I think I'd rather find something else to put in the tower. But, who knows what we will end up going for. We could also build this into like a storage room or something. I wonder if I wanted to have a ladder here. Oh, it's too far over. Oh, interesting. We could steal some space. These are the bedrooms in the servants' quarters. Downstairs. So we could do that so that it's easier for them to get, because otherwise they have to go outside. So this could be like an additional entrance for them to come and go from when the servants need to get through. And that way, at least the weird clipping is symmetrical <laughs> with the doors on both sides. Um, I think that's fine. Okay. Anyway, these will be their doors to their bedrooms downstairs. Secret tunnel, as they say. Um, yeah, the build is going to be very expensive. <laughs> have you seen how many night statues we have? Uh, we, when we were checking yesterday, we did like a little test to see how much money it costs, and it was like extremely high. Kind of scary high how much it costs, and we had barely started. Um, but it'll be fun. Okay, they're gonna have a wooden tub. So that's nice. Yeah, it was like almost 300,000, and we hadn't even furnished the inside yet. <laughs> well, we had furnished a couple parts of the inside, I guess. Oh, maybe they have no mirror in this area. It's like the basement where the servants bathe. Inside the round room, there's a wallpaper missing in here. That's okay. We'll get it fixed. We'll get it fixed. Um, oh, do you need to be rotated like that so they can actually get into it? How do you... Oh, uh-oh. They're gonna need to be able to use this. Does it need to be like that so they can actually access it? That is annoying. It's okay as it was. Are you sure? With it like this, because keep in mind, right, that when it's like this, they have to access it from the side. Can they use that? They, will they be able to stand in that tile? I mean, they do have another way to access, like they can, they have stairs out here. So they, it is possible to get in there. Um, but... Is the right to play test it? Yeah, I have to bring a sim here, but that's a commitment that I don't know if I'm ready to make yet. Um, I'll bring a sim. I don't want to. Um, 
Does the gray wood railing from Get Together have a- Oh, you want me to use the Get Together railing instead? We can maybe try that. I don't know if I care enough, but we can try maybe. Um, sell the furniture. I'll be doing a lot of money cheats. So. <laughs> Danny, uh, first steps, Marissa, you, uh, you just got so many bookmarks. That's so fun. I've seen those where it's like a book stack and people use it to like track what they're reading. They write it in there. That's cool. Okay. Can you use the ladder? Oh. Oh, they can use it fine. False alarm. They can get in. I was worried because of the diagonal that they wouldn't be able to use it, but they can. So it's fine. Sally and Fang and Star, thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, okay. Go away. I don't want to play with a sim as I am building. Okay. Anyway, people were asking also, how are you going to have servants? Um, you won't. <laughs> you can hire a butler if you have that pack. Uh, it comes in vintage glamour. Um, and the butler could live down there. Um, and you would be able to assign a bedroom for the butler. But otherwise, like, it's pretend. You know how it is. Um, welcome to the Sims 4. Oh, I forgot that Get Together doesn't have- I was picturing, um, this fence. But I forgot that Get Together does not have a railing that matches that. So never mind. Never mind. You could potentially, as some people are saying, like, rent the rooms to servants and, like, pay- or, or, like, use the rent pack to assign them as units and then do that, but, um, that's not really what I plan on doing. I don't think. Um. Maybe there should be a big picture of the queen. No stupid man. She is the queen. She's on the wall. Um. Is there a limit on roommates? Um, it, the roommate system depends which one you're talking about. The roommate system from university, uh, it's like 10 beds, right? Um, and the, obviously, roommates from the rent pack, uh, technically it's six units, but um, you'd be able to use cheats. I don't know if you should, because sometimes it can be kind of glitchy when you use cheats for that, but. And that's my mailbox. I forgot we need a mailbox. <laughs> we'll figure that out, it'll be fine. Fix the tower wall on the second floor. Oh, I forgot about this part. Um, it's okay. It's okay. Hide it in the entrance. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Like, we'll hide it in a somewhere. I won't do that yet, though. I'll worry about that once I go back to the outside. The landscaping was stressing me out before, so I cannot bring myself to deal with that right now. That's going to have to be a problem for me in a minute. Um... Okay, I don't really like that. What other sorts of decor could we maybe try? Oh, these pots might be interesting for the kitchen in the basement. Um, I don't know, maybe we could put some dried things in the basement kitchen too. Just as I'm looking through, I'm trying to think of stuff that might be useful. I don't know. Maybe they could have this in their room. The banner thing from high school years, I so I want something that shape, right? But the banner from high school years is like a wall decal. So it's completely flat, and it's not really the, like, medieval tapestry vibes that I'm going for. This one's not going to fit either, and that totally doesn't match anything. Oh, we need to use more of these probably, too. But anyway, the, the thing that they're talking about- Oh, this could go above there, I don't know. The thing they're talking about is from high school years- is it this one that has the banner swatches? Yeah, I want something like this shape, almost. But that doesn't... work, you know? Shella, is that like a threat? 
What a thing to say. I don't think the city living tapestries have the right swatches either. Like that one's, the shade of red is almost like too orange. Brown. Does that fit our like medieval Europe? I don't know. That's the kind of shape I'm talking about, but maybe this one could be okay. You can kind of see what we're going for. I don't know. The rent tapestries don't really fit this either. And they're a bit, um, they're a bit wider. I don't know if you can tell. But they're like, the colors are more muted. So, and then Snowy Escape has a tapestry too, but this one doesn't, it's also, that's too big anyway. But this doesn't really fit. Maybe I won't do anything there. You know what we could get? I don't know why I forgot about it. This crest. Um, okay. Maybe something like, oh, that's not that big. Can I do two of them? No, because they don't match. Well, we could still put it up there. Star Wars has banners and flags. Oh no. <laughs> Let me look at Star Wars then. Ah. Uh, I'm not really looking for a ripped one. Not Star Wars. Oh, I forgot that thing existed. Okay, I'll use that too. Okay. <laughs> Legit question as a Star Wars fan, but not Sims player. Why is the pack hated? Um, so it, I think partially it's a meme. Okay. But more so, uh, I think that like, it doesn't really fit into the average Sims gameplay that easily. Um, a lot of it is like kind of random. So if you're going to buy one game pack, people probably wouldn't recommend you buy that one. Cause it's like, how are you going to fit that into your build? Um, so I think that is the majority of it. Is that not even centered? Oh, I messed up the window placement. That explains a lot. Um, but it's just kind of weird in that way. I also think as a person who's played it a lot, I think it's objectively kind of repetitive and boring. Um, even if you are a Star Wars fan, I think that like the gameplay, it's kind of like, go talk to that person, go talk to that person, go talk to that person, go talk to that person. And it's just like, I don't know. Um, it's just kind of, not that fun to do. So, um, anyway, <laughs> it's not everybody's favorite for those sorts of reasons, basically. Um, okay. Maybe there's a flag and get together. Um, are you thinking about some of the small ones? We don't necessarily need to have a flag. It was just an idea. Um, there's a lot of flag type stuff in this game that we could potentially use, but we don't necessarily have to use it. Um, but anyway, it's, it's not, uh, the worst thing in the world. Um, it's just, I don't think it's most people's preference for Sims packs. If you're a huge Star Wars fan, you might like it though. You know better than we do. Um, okay. What if we got like a portrait? or some sort of, sort of gold thing. Um, I don't really wanna use that one. I guess I could use the smaller one of, no, I shouldn't use the same thing twice on this wall. Maybe like, No, it needs to be portraits. I think that we should do, or like this thing could be okay too. Oh, maybe they hang up art on this wall above this thing. I could see that. I hate this. 
paint the ceiling. We will, we will paint the ceiling. I can do it now so people don't panic, but the ceiling paint is just so laggy. It makes me want to scream and cry. So I'm trying to hold it until I do it absolutely last. Um, see, is it, is what you're saying worth it? Uh, I'm trying to make it stone. But it's so annoying, so laggy. This is why I've been trying to avoid it. Ooh, come on, slow, 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 slow. There you go. There you go. There you go. Is that... Oh, this room's closed off. Oh no. That's a disaster. Okay. Fixed. Fixed. Save. Okay. <sighs> you never paint ceilings for what you could do that? Yeah, ceiling paint is really useful for stuff like this where we're trying to have like an all stone room, you know? Um, it's just really annoying so laggy trying to do like a significant amount of ceiling paint makes me want to cry so it helps with immersion there you go exactly marissa oh my it's cool for um plus when you take screenshots in a house like this it's kind of like shocking when the um ceiling is like a stark white after everything else was so not. So. Okay, that needs painted. Okay, come on, slowly we'll get there. Slowly we will get there. Third floor to the queen's room. Can we have a kitten cam at the end of stream? Well, I can't do a kitten cam unless the cats are sleeping in here where the camera is set up. Um, so, I uh, would if they chose to hang out with us. Okay, that's good. I think all the ceiling is painted now. Let me just check. Yeah, those ones don't matter because you can't access that tower, so... Okay! <laughs> we made it! We made it! It's fine! Do I have to paint the basement ceiling? I will, but I don't want to do that right now because the basement ceilings... Oh my god, don't make me do this. I'm trying so hard to stop and <laughs> the chat is always like, um, actually... So the basement ceiling's are really annoying because I don't know if you can tell, but um, the basement is lower than the floor is. So to paint the basement ceiling, I have to paint this part. And I just find this even more irritating than painting regular ceilings. So I was trying to not have to do this right now, but um, I can do it right now. <laughs> if, if you find it distressing, I can do it right now. Um, but it's, you know, very, just the Sims 4, Sims 4-ing, you know? Thought the roof was floating? No, it's because of the, um, that's the actual floor of the ground and the basement is lower than that. And it's worth it because it does, I mean, it looks cool with the stone on the ceiling. Why is the basement like that? Um, because if I raise it up higher, uh, you would see it, like, above the ground here. It would be raised up, um, poking out from the ground. I guess I could show you something like that over here so I don't break anything. Um, but the reason that you do that is because otherwise, when it places like- are you trying to mess me up over there? It has to be lower so it doesn't do this. Do you see how weird that is? So we uh, sink it down so it doesn't cause that problem. Um, so if you ever see this happening with basements, you can just lower it until it disappears. So, um, when did the raised up ground thing start? Cause it wasn't like that before. Um, I think it's always done that with basements. It only does it with houses that have basements, um, 
when you have the basement outside the edge of the building on a foundation. Because bear in mind, the basement, it's trying to act like the basement is starting like here. So you have to sink it below the foundation so it doesn't affect the outside ground. If the basement is not bigger than like these, unfortunately go right up to the exterior, but if it was just contained within the foundation, you wouldn't see it. So, um, that's why. <laughs> it's because of the foundation. Cassidy and Mooney and Kayful, hi with the 53 months, and Danny and Jay Dot and Fiona, thank you so much. Um, okay, okay. I feel good about this now. Maybe I'll put this light here. Okay. Um, oh, I was doing the bathroom, that's right. I shall steal some of these things. So this is where the guests, the overnight guests will use this. You're about to add a moat to your house? Good, as you should. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the overnight guests will, will go. Um, am I not in debug anymore? Oh, I reloaded, that's why. Baby dot show hidden objects. Okay. I want the wooden toilet. One single light on the wall. They will have to make do with this. It's the bathroom. And then the queen. Her bathroom will be a bit, I guess a bit nicer, you might say. Not really. But for what it is, it'll be nice. Would her tub be fancier? No, I think they all are gonna have wooden ones. This is just like the highest tech of the time. Oh, 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 wait. I wanted to put this toilet down here in the basement, because when else can you use that? I guess we did talk about for a second to appease chat. I was thinking about giving the queen a golden toilet, but it, oh, I just went to manage roles by accident. Uh, that's not really what I want though. Because the golden thing is, um, it's like the tub has wings and that kind of gives me the ick for this, you know? Um, let me show you the one that I am referring to. Do you see that? Eh. Eh. I don't really want to give her a porcelain one. Everyone is trying to correct me about what is and is not available at the time, but I kind of like all the wood. I think the wood is kind of fun. Because, like, I never use that, you know? So this is, like, a fun opportunity to use the wooden stuff. You know? Is there a nicer wood tub? Yeah, I mean, there are some, there's a lot of nicer tubs. This one has a wood frame, but isn't all wood. This one is like made of mahogany. I don't like the silver on that though, instead of gold. There's also a worse wood tub, uh, but I kind of like the gold. I'm not mad about this tub. I know a lot of you guys seem like you hate it, but <laughs> we're trying to give them like kind of gross bathrooms on purpose. And this is primarily just so that the game is functional. Like they, you know, we wouldn't even really have a toilet, would we? But we want it to be functional in The Sims, so. Um, did I give the worst tub to the servants? I didn't put the worst one down there. I still don't like the silver accents is the problem. Um, would they have toilet paper? I'm not gonna give them any toilet paper. I don't think they need any. It's my final call. Um, get famous. I wanted to look at this towel bar. 
I can see us having a very ornate set of towels. It's the queen's bathroom, so we gotta do some things to make it fancier. You know? Um, yeah, purple is very royal. See, you get it. You understand. <laughs> Maybe add curtains? Yeah, I think we probably should add curtains, but I don't know with how this is laid out. Oh, this doesn't really... Maybe the blue? I don't know. Your game just crashed? Uh-oh, everybody, save your games. Someone's game just crashed. This is a good reminder. <laughs> we should all do it. <laughs> we all need to save absolutely immediately. It's urgent. Good call. Good call. Maybe I do scoot those over and I get like ridiculous curtains. Because I kind of like the idea of ridiculous curtains. Oh my god, the queen's bathroom is, like, actually hard to get around. I kind of like that about it, though. I don't think it needs to be that much nicer than this. Like, what else is she gonna need? Nothing. Okay. I'm picking another night statue. I'm gonna come back upstairs to her thing in a late, in a little bit. I wanted to do more of the- I think- I just realized I didn't make this one gold. What are we missing? So the library we have to do, this hallway we have to do more of. I think I'm gonna put spider webs in here. This is like a not frequently used passageway. Is kind of what I'm picturing. So. Um. I don't know. Come here. And just so you guys know, I'm just going to say it again quick. We're not trying to set out to build the most realistic medieval castle, okay? We're doing a little meme -y thing from our minds <laughs> that is functional in The Sims, okay? We're not going for like ultimate realism with this, just so that we manage our expectations. Let's bear that in mind, okay? It is The Sims and we want it to be useful for us um, in The Sims, so. Um, the row of trees on the left side have uneven spacing. Um, they do. Those are too far over. Okay. Okay. In that case, can we add a bowling alley? <laughs> Maybe. Um, no, I don't think I want to add a bowling alley. <laughs> I know people are joking, but it's just make sure we're on the same page, okay? I think bowling alley is not the vibes, just so you know. Okay, let's do the, let's do this room then. Um, bookshelves, I want something big and fancy. That's why I was looking at these from university, right? Strangerville also has big and fancy bookcases. Strangervilles are skinnier. Maybe I like these better, though. I don't know. Um, Realm of Magic? Well, those are shorter. You see that? So I like these because they're tall. They fill up more of the room. The library kit ones are too plain. They're nice because you can do full tall stuff, but they don't have like any fancy ornate details on them. So I don't really want to use the book nook kit. I want fancy, you know? Um, 
That could maybe work. Um, that is horrendous. <laughs> Add a row in the middle like an aisle? You think so? I was just gonna put seating in the middle. But I don't know. Um. Okay. I think... Um, I don't know, something fancy, I guess. I guess we could use these chairs. I keep using these, but can add the chess table. I was I was trying to focus more on this room, not on having like the chess table in here, but on having like storage and reading. Should there be a desk? I don't know. Let's, we have to think functionally for a minute with the game. Like, it might actually be useful to have a desk. Or like some sort of table. I could see that. Probably don't want this chair, but we could do it anyway. I could get the globe bar. Queen's office, you know? And then, like, typewriter? Well, even then, the typewriter is, like, too new. This- this is old, this building. I don't think the typewriter is the vibes. Um... I was more thinking for the desk... You know, like, the- it's- it's base game? It's like an open journal? That's kind of what I was picturing. And like this <laughs> with the quill. <laughs> Cause we actually have a couple things like that that we can use. Um, maybe I'll put a fancy table over here and like these things on top of it. I don't know. Um, they would write each other. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> She's doing her correspondence, you know? Oh yeah, there's some good werewolves clutter that has like wax seals, right? I guess we could maybe use something like that. What do you think about that? I don't know. Let's look. Um, werewolves. Yeah, that could be good for the desk. Um, I guess I'll alt place it all, huh? Okay, a little bit over. Something like... That. Can they still use the desk with clutter on it? Well, no, there's nowhere for them to... This is slotted to it, so no, it's decorative. But I like it. I think that's cool. Okay. Um, should I keep this for some reason? What would go in there? Yeah, they would only use it to eat at or like do homework, so <laughs> eating out would be bad. Um, it's probably for the best if they don't have an access. Secret library room. Yeah, I mean, you guys, everybody always talks about like bookcase doors and stuff and like how cool that would be. Problem with that is, right, the bookcase doors in this game don't match anything. Like, that's not a very well-kept secret, because it's very obvious that it's, like, different, you know? So that- that's- this is why, like, it's always a good idea in theory, but never so much in practice. If we use the base game bookcases that are skinnier, still wouldn't match in the corner like this. Yeah, it's not always, like, the right vibe. 
I don't think. Look at that light coming through the window. Isn't that cool? Um, easel, piano. Oh no, you know what we could do? From vampires, there's like, where's that thingy? Well, we could also just put some like storage, but more so what I was picturing was this item. Maybe I put that in here. We make it look like it's on purpose. Human heart? Wow, okay. It can be in red. What are you studying down there? It's It has to be kind of off to the side because that's bad. Studying human anatomy back then, they didn't like that. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, how about this? Pretty? Sure, maybe? Um, okay, cool. Is this fine? I wish that the door was taller, but it's okay. We can make do. This could maybe go in the throne room somewhere too. Where would we, I don't wanna like mess up where we're placing it. I don't like the colors of it either is the problem. Just stick it off to the side though. Alligators in the moat. Oh yeah, we're gonna do the outside stuff last though. Don't worry. Um, it is exceptionally dark in here. So potentially like getting a lantern could be a nice touch. I might have to bring a sim here so I can change the color of that lighting, but. Okay. I'm, I'm feeling okay about this. Good. I don't know what to put in this room. I am struggling with it. Build a maze outside. There's not enough space in the lot because we have a moat going around the whole lot. So we can't really have a maze because um, there's not really any room left. Um, let me get myself some more night statues. Should I put a couple of these guys outside? I'm putting these knights everywhere. I could probably put... Honestly, on either side of the queen's office, we might want to like guard it. Um... Too big. I could do a small runner. It's well guarded, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly, you get it. Maybe just some seats. Yeah, you can change lighting color with just the base game. Uh, you have to have a sim there is the only problem. So when I wanna change the lighting color, I'm gonna have to leave and then get a sim and then come back, which is gonna be kind of annoying, but any other statues that would work? Well, there's some other statues, but I quite like the knights. They kind of amuse me. Um, I understand that maybe not everyone does, but the knight statues I think are funny, so I kind of like them for this. Um, okay. So these four are all guest bedrooms, and then upstairs is the queen's room. Let me get some of the lights that I was using. Should I put these, like there these are lanterns they have to light them a person comes and does it yeah it is a 64 by 64 lot yes um it's quite big so okay do you want to start doing the bedrooms perhaps although you know what we could do um 
Let me copy this over to my mods quick so I don't forget. Um, I want to do... So I have one giveaway code so far for the castle kit. I say we do it now. I'm going to try and space them out a little bit throughout the stream. Um, we finally got our codes from EA. Because <laughs> you can't buy codes to give them away and you can't gift on the EA app anymore. It's very annoying. But I have one code. It's a PC and Mac code for the castle estate kit, the one that we're using right now. Um, so if you would like to enter for a chance to win, you can type the word queen in the chat. Um, like, you know, the queen's quarters are up here on the top floor. <laughs> um, it's, it's one code right now for the castle estate kit. Um, and you can type that word queen in the chat for a chance to win. Okay, should I do a curtain in there? Maybe. They might need that for some privacy in their bathroom. Anyway, type the word queen. Oh, I should enter. What if I win? What then? <laughs> Silly, thanks for the 10 months. And, and Oki and my girly and Galaxy and Becca, thank you for the subs too. Yeah, the more you say the word queen, the more it like doesn't feel like a real word. You know what I mean? <laughs> the more we're looking at it right now, the more I'm like, wow, okay. All of a sudden this feels fake. <laughs> Um, but you can type that word queen in the chat for a chance to win, um, and I'll draw- we only have one code for this right now, but I'll draw the winner here in a couple minutes. Um, so I'll give you a little bit more time to enter. Have I ever won? I- I won my own giveaway once, but only because it was an Xbox giveaway, um, and not many people enter those because they're so annoying to do console. It's like so restricted because it's like Xbox North America, and not- it's not like the same as PC- this is a PC and Mac code! PC, not console, but the the, con or the the computer codes are global, so it's way less restrictive because pretty much anybody, like, as long as you have The Sims on your computer, especially because now The Sims 4 is free to play, um, as long as you have a computer, you can claim it, you know? Um, so it's it's just way easier to do uh, PC and Mac codes because it doesn't, like, leave anybody out, you know? Um, so we're doing a giveaway right now of the Castle Estate kit. You can type the word Queen in the chat for a chance to win if you would like to. So, more tapestries or curtains on walls will help. Oh, you think it looks bad and it needs help? <laughs> I actually quite liked it. I don't know if I um, am feeling like it's struggling, but um, I understand that a lot of people don't like it. <laughs> I'm trying to make it um, kind of dark and cold seeming on purpose. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can type the word queen in the chat for a chance to win the castle estate kit. Um, and we'll draw that winner here, like I said, and Maybe a second or two. Um, yeah, I don't think the curtains floating makes sense. I don't agree with that. Um, better before the curtains, I think. Oh, this window? Or this room has no windows. <laughs> okay, let me... Maybe they can have a couple small ones next to the door. Anyway, type that word queen in the chat for a chance to win uh, the castle estate kit. So far, there are uh, like 1,300 entries. Yikes. <laughs> so last chance. Um, and please don't feel bad if you don't win. I only have the one code right now. Um, so, <laughs> you know, one code, 1,300 people. It's like <laughs> the odds are not in your favor. Let's just say that. <laughs> Um, type that word queen one last time. Don't worry, you don't need to spam it. Everybody only gets one entry, but if it makes you feel better, type it ten times. Go ahead and do that, because I know it helps me to know for sure if it worked. Um, sometimes it's, like, just reassuring to you emotionally, but... Ready? I will draw the winner now in five, four, three, two... It's playing the Sims religious music. One! <laughs> draw entrant! It's Mira825 is the winner. Mira825 is the official winner. And there was, in the end, 1,400 entries to that one just then. Congratulations, Mira! I am going to uh, pull up your Twitch whispers so I can send you the code. If you could just reply once you've seen it, that would be great. Because then I'll know that you, you saw the message. Twitch whispers are like a DM on Twitch. So you should get a notification just now. Um, but hopefully you like it, Mira! <laughs> it's a fun one. It's definitely fun to build with, so hopefully you enjoy it. Um, and I do have one more code uh, for later. I'm trying to split them up a little bit, though. So, um, give me a minute. Yay, they got it! Okay, good. Yay, Mira! Hopefully you have fun with it. <laughs> you feel bad because you didn't win? Oh, uh, you really don't need to feel bad. Um, nobody won, really. <laughs> 
Only Mira won. Everybody else, um... <laughs> me? Sad loser. <laughs> so... <laughs> they actually only give you one ninja, um, of the giveaway codes, but... And it's annoying with the kits because you can't buy codes for the kits like like you can buy codes on like Amazon or on CD keys really as easily. It's way harder to get your hands on keys for the kits to do giveaways of kits because you can kind of only buy them on the EA app and Origin and stuff. Um, so it's pretty annoying. Um, but we do what we can. It isn't really that big of a deal normally because I just buy them like with an expansion pack. I just buy loads, but you I can't like buy a bunch of codes of this. Um, so, anyway, <laughs> it's no good, it's no good, but it's fine. Um, the most entrance I ever had in a giveaway, um, I don't know, but it was probably in a stream like this, like around a release, I'm, I'm guessing it was probably for like some expansion pack on like an expansion pack release day kind of stream, probably like. 1800. I don't know if I've ever had 2000 people enter a giveaway. So probably like around like 1800 max. Um, on one of those like bigger streams, you know, where it's like a pack has just come out and a bunch of people are there. Um, cause the thing is you'd be surprised. It's always very interesting to me when I do the giveaways because, um, it really makes it obvious to me which packs are the most popular because some packs, like when I do a giveaway for like seasons, for example, we might have 5,000 people here. There might only be like 400 entries in the seasons giveaway because m most people, not most, but like a lot of people already have seasons. For example, it's like one of the more popular packs. Um, so, uh, but the newer packs and like kits and stuff, less people buy them or have them already. So um, more entrance. But if I did a giveaway for an old pack right now, we would get way less entrance probably because more people would have it already. Um, so. Anyway, <laughs> time to do a seasons giveaway then. I don't have this, I don't have a seasons code right now. <laughs> um, the codes shouldn't expire, Firefly, no. Those codes shouldn't expire, they should still work. Um, you don't have seasons, but it seems popular. I think seasons is really fun. Seasons is by far like one of my favorite out of all of the Sims packs. So, um, yeah, and I think less people want to buy a kit. I mean like, if, if I were to buy a Sims pack, I would, and I was only gonna buy one Sims pack, I would like wait for a sale. And you know, if, say you have like $5 to spend on the Sims, I, I would wait for a sale and buy like a stuff pack for $6 that's on sale, <laughs> you know? Which obviously is more than $5, but like that is just a better deal. You know, you get more out of it. So I think most, like less people buy the kits than like the other kinds of packs, even though they're cheaper because you can get more out of it. Plus the kits are a bit more niche. They don't always appeal to everybody, whereas the bigger packs tend to have a broader appeal anyway. Um, yeah, playing without seasons is, uh, to me, it's like no fun. I just love seasons. I think it's so fun to have the weather and stuff. Um, up until the kits existed, you had all the DLC, can't do it all now. Yeah, and you, you really don't need to, you know? You you pick and choose the kits that if if you like any of them, you know, only get the ones that uh, appeal to you. There's no need to be buying all this stuff that might not be good for you, you know? Um, couldn't live without cats and dogs. Oh, cats and dogs is one of my like all time favorite packs as well. Um, cats and dogs is really good. I really, really like cats and dogs. Um, okay. Let's do the the guest bedrooms then. I'm thinking in these guest bedrooms, I want to decorate them all with maybe like a different colored bed. And I quite like the idea of doing like, honestly, like this bed. And having like some different color themes in each of the rooms. We wouldn't have pulp without cats and dogs. See, exactly. <laughs> we need cats and dogs. It's so important. <laughs> but I, I love my Sims having pets. I think that also stems from like, I mean, in my real life, I cannot imagine not having a pet because my cats are my life. <laughs> Literally, like my whole world revolves around these cats. So, <laughs> Oh, I have news. There's an ad playing. But when the ad is over, I'll tell you. 
And I just want to say I'm so sorry to break this news to you. It's not actually bad news. Don't panic. Um, but it's bad news to me. <laughs> Nothing. Everyone's fine. No one's hurt or anything. But <laughs> it's bad news for me. <laughs> um, okay. I think... Something like that, you know? To lay out this room. Generic guest room type furniture. Come on, add, hurry up. It has like 10 seconds left. <sighs> what would I put in here? We could probably put a desk, right? I think so. That fits the vibes too. You can't put a telescope inside, weirdly. Um, that would be kind of a fun addition, but you can't do telescopes inside. Um, okay, everyone, here's the bad news. And I'm so sorry to tell you this. Yesterday, I got out of the shower, and Shrimp always is in the bathroom when I'm in the bathroom. He likes to be around. I got out of the shower, I looked at Shrimp, and I realized... I, I can't even say it. His white whisker... Yeah. Yeah. I know. <laughs> we knew it was coming. We knew what people, I mean, like a lot of cats, a lot of black cats have one random white whisker and it, sometimes it goes away when they're like a couple months old. Shrimp made it to seven months. And now finally, no white whisker. I'll show you. <sighs> Hold on. Everyone, he's bald. Does anyone recognize this cat? No. This is just some guy. There's just some creature in my house. <sighs> anyway, it fell out. It's gone. He's naked. Who is that man? <laughs> let me let me find you a picture of him from a bit ago where he does have a visible white whisker. Okay, this is just a random photo from a couple days ago. It's kind of zoomed out, but it's very obvious. You see? Because it's like stark, the one. <sighs> Not anymore. It was obvious. It was stark. I'm still scrolling. See if I can find you another one. Like more of a face picture. Oh, I can't show this one. Dan's toes are in this one. I can't show that picture. Maybe I could, hold on, maybe if I zoom in. See? White whisker. Very obvious white whisker. Free toes? Yeah, it's cause he's on the couch and Dan's toes are there. <laughs> In the background. <laughs> anyway. My heart is broken. By the loss of this whisker. I honestly don't know how I can go on. What? Who even is this? Oh, so I'm so sorry to have to tell you this. I'm so sorry. Do I have it? No, I mean, I might be able to find it. I didn't. I looked around a bit last night. I don't know when it fell out. I, I, he had it yesterday, not yesterday, the day before yesterday. Yesterday, I didn't notice until nighttime. So maybe it fell out during the day, but I don't know. Maybe it was in the bathroom. I'll have to, I need to look more, but you looked for the whisker? Yeah. <laughs> I don't find that many cat whiskers though. I've only ever found a handful of Snaps whiskers. So, I don't know. You need to find it and frame it. <laughs> and his brother, um, cause my, we had, we had found the three kittens in the sewer, right? Um, and so my mom, my mom and dad adopted his brother. Um, he still has it. Sam still has his whisker. Devastating. Anyway, he's very cute still, but I loved his goofy little whisker. No, I don't have a Roomba or anything, Christine. Um, so I should be able to find it. We have like a lightly colored rug in the living room and stuff though. So I'm worried that it... I'm worried that I won't find it, but I'm gonna look. <laughs> Tonight, 
during the commercials during Drag Race, I'm gonna be scanning the room, like trying to find the whisker, <laughs> standing up, looking around the carpet. <laughs> anyway. Um, so in this room, let me get some more plants and stuff. <laughs> what will I do with it if I find it? I don't know. Keep it forever. Or something. Frame it. <laughs> I don't know. Haven't thought that far ahead. But I, I had grown very attached to his goofy look, look, looking little whisker. But, I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Okay, I'm gonna give them on their desk in here. I'll put the notebook. You have a whisker from your childhood cat? See? You get it. You understand. Why can't I grab that? Stationary. Is that debug? Shouldn't be. Why can't I copy it? I'm annoyed by them for that. I can't show the kitchen because I haven't done it yet, Lilo. We gotta finish these rooms upstairs first. What should I put on the... nightstands? Maybe like, did know their whiskers fell out? Yeah, cat's whiskers fall out. I don't think, I mean, they're not like falling out constantly, but their whiskers do, I guess, I mean, timeline. Shrimp is about seven months old. He probably got this whisker when he was like two months old. So he had the whisker for like five months or something. And that one was very obvious <laughs> because it was the only white one. All of his other whiskers are black, but I'm thinking candles. I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards like something like this for the nightstand, I think. I don't know. Yeah, the more you say whisker, the more it doesn't seem like a word, right? <laughs> and the more we say it, the more it's like beginning to feel fake. <laughs> okay, well, while I'm doing the next bedroom, um, I have a giveaway code for the goth galore kit. Um, so if you want to enter for a chance to win that one, we'll do the same thing when you type a word in the chat. This time, um, type the word Bella in the chat for a chance to win the goth galore kit. Get it? Bella goth. <laughs> um, one second. I'm answering Dan's DMs. But anyway, the goth kit is what we are doing giveaway for now. Type, type the word Bella in the chat for a chance to win. Um... I wonder if I could put like small framed photos above the nightstands or something. Okay. Okay. How about for this room? What shall we do? Um, anyway, this, this pack that we're doing giveaway for right now, like I was saying, is the goth galore kit. Um, it is a PC and Mac code for the goth galore kit and uh, it is global. So no matter where you are in the world, this code will work, um, which is good. That is a win, um, but just keep in mind uh, that it's PC and Mac, so. And you can type the word Bella in the chat for a chance to win. I like the purple on the bed. I like how these rooms are slightly different in color. I think it's fun. Needle or knitting as a hobby. Oh, I wasn't gonna do hobbies. Um, in these rooms, maybe this sounds so silly, but I wasn't planning on putting like hobby stuff in these bedrooms because I'm picturing these as being like kind of generic guest rooms um, for like just, you know, whoever comes and stays at the castle. So I wasn't planning on putting like, you know, decorative hobby stuff. I was just gonna kind of make it work. Um, and then like, you know, whoever comes and stays would use the room. Um, we decorate the queen's room, but these kind of generically, I was thinking. Um, the first thing that came to mind was Twilight and not the goth family. Fair enough, 
Fair enough. No, I'm referring to the one, the only, Bella Goth. <laughs> um, again, you can hit the word Bella in the chat for a chance to win the Goth Galore kit. These are both codes that were given to me by EA to give away to you, so. Um, thanks to them for that one, I guess. Um, they have so generously given us, uh, given us a $5 kit code. <laughs> How do you use the codes? Oh, if you win, I'll message you and explain it. I have like a thing I copy and paste to you. Um, you redeem it in the EA app or in Origin, whatever you use. It's not too hard. Um, okay. Anyway, type the word Bella in the chat still for a chance to win. Like I was saying earlier, um, everybody only gets one entry, so don't worry if uh, you didn't spam it or anything. You don't need to. <laughs> Every person gets an equal shot at winning. Um, everybody only has one shot. Um, maybe I shall put this desk here. I like how they have a little desk. I think that's kind of cool that they have access to a private little tower desk. The curtain's different. I think they're the same. It's the lighting that is different. Do you see that? Um, <laughs> so <laughs> that's not fun, but that's what's happening. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> this game. <laughs> Dariel and Rhonda and Mather, thank you for the subs. Ugh. Put a bookshelf in that tower. Oh, we could put a bookshelf in there. That might be kind of fun. All right, I'll give you guys a couple more seconds here to enter. Type the word Bella in the chat. If you missed it, we're doing giveaway of the goth galore kit right now. Um, and you can type the word Bella for a chance to win. Um, I'll give you a couple more seconds and then I will draw the winner. All right, ready? Five, four, type the word Bella. Three, two, one, draw entrance. A Forest by The Cure is the winner of this giveaway. Congratulations, Forest. I hope that you enjoy the pack. I'm going to whisper you the code. Um, same thing again, if you, uh, when you get my message, if you could just reply to the whisper so I know that you've seen it, that would be perfect. Um, a whisper is like a DM on Twitch, so you should get a notification about it. Um, and hopefully you enjoy it. I think this pack is, uh, is a cute one, so. Um... Okay, put buckets and pretend they're chamber pots. I actually was kind of thinking about doing that um, there, cause there is like a chamber pot item. Where am I? There is like an actual chamber pot item, um, but it's a toddler potty. The idea of a bucket is kind of funny. <laughs> we could do that. We get like one of these buckets. We'll know what it is. Um, oh, they replied! They liked it! Okay, I'm glad. I hope that you have fun with it. I'm glad that you got it. Okay. The toddler potty, um, is a bit, it's a bit fancy. I don't know if I want it to be fancy. I kind of want to just have a bucket. I think there's something kind of funny about it just being a bucket. The bucket is funnier. And I think that's what makes it better, right? Like funnier is good in this case. Chamber pots were fancy though. Yeah, I know, but it's the Sims. Like we could do something like put an urn because it has a lid, but that's not, that's not funny. This is a castle that has a wooden bathtub, you know? I think, I think that a bucket is more fun, right? An urn? Yeah, see? But people in chat are saying to do that instead. <laughs> I'm a god that I won! I'm so glad that you won. If anyone deserved to win the kit, it was you. It was you. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Is it gonna have off the grid trait? Um, maybe. I don't know. I hadn't really considered what lot traits it would have, if any, yet. Um, we'll see. Um, okay, let's grab this, see if we can pick a different, do I want the pot to function? No, 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 well, they have a toilet, they don't need a chamber pot. Um, it's just for fun. It's just to be kind of silly, having the pot. Um, werewolves. 
Oh, I'm lost. Werewolves? It's the most recent one. Hello. Get it together, Kayla. Um, that could be good, I guess. Time to get functional chamber pot CC. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> we may have to. <laughs> um, this one is like cool and starry. We could also do, oh, I don't really, that's kind of fun actually. Let's do this one and have red curtains. Okay, Brew, how, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Oh my, is there gonna be cat trees? Um, I, I mean, I'll tell you, I wasn't really planning on giving them cat trees for this house. Cat castle was an idea though. You need cats or you will have rats. <laughs> yeah, but do you, let's be honest for a second. Do you really think that in this medieval castle they have cat trees? I don't think so. <gasps> Wait a minute, this was 10 minutes ago? But I didn't see it till just now because my mods put a screenshot of it 10 minutes ago and I wasn't reading it. Apparently, someone in chat's friend is on Drag Race this season. You know Plasma. Everyone, it is officially decided. We all want Plasma to win Drag Race. We know Plasma. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Let it be known. <laughs> the Sims community is Team Plasma now. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm gonna tell Dan, he's gonna be so happy. <laughs> I like plasma. <laughs> okay, okay. What else was I gonna do in here? I don't remember. I'm distracted. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, The play castle or the castle homework project? You think I should put kids stuff in here? Maybe they could have a fireplace in this one because it's big enough. <laughs> Um, she caught the bouquet at your wedding? Oh my god. You guys. Our best friend, Plasma, caught the bouquet at your wedding? <laughs> That's so cool. That, thank you for telling me this. This is, um, honestly, like, one of the most exciting things I've ever heard. <laughs> You've made my day. <laughs> Okay, okay, focus, Kayla, focus. Um, what else do I need? Maybe like a tapestry or something. Does that match well enough? It needs to be more reddish. Okay, that's good. Eh, that, that one's good. Let's not do kid stuff that didn't exist in medieval times. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't leaning towards kid stuff either. I, my thought is kind of like, this is for like when the queen has guests. It's like, you know, wealthy adults that come over, you know? So I'm kind of thinking, we'll focus just on that. Children didn't exist. <laughs> yeah, obviously. True story. Okay. A room for a princess? I don't know. I'm being silly with my opinions, but where will the queen's heir sleep? Maybe, maybe the queen has no kids. She doesn't want to get married because listen, you guys, when you are the queen and you get married, all of a sudden he's the king. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We are not getting married. We are not risking that. We're not involving ourselves with men. That's my opinion. Unacceptable. 
It'll be someone else's problem when we die, you know? <laughs> okay, I like that. No men. No kids. The queen has no kids. Um, I don't think she wants kids. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't think she wants to, to have anything that could risk her power. You know? Um, what if she marries another queen? Yeah, but that woman could try and take her power too. I think you're not understanding. I mean, especially a man would. Let's be clear. But, we can't be involving ourselves with people in this way. You know? Okay. So she's evil? No. She just doesn't want to get married. That's fine. <laughs> That's rude, lol. What's wrong with men? Okay, so I don't know if you're joking or not, Liza. Um, but I if so, um, we're... <laughs> Historically... Um, so, so, you know, we're in medieval times, and we're talking about a woman. In fact, there is a lot wrong with historic men. Okay? But just so we're clear again, so no one goes reporting people in the Twitch chat and Bruin gets banned. <laughs> no one hates men. <laughs> we're talking about systemically. <laughs> Misogyny, okay? That's the joke. So, shh, okay? The reference I'm making right now and the reason the whole chat is saying we love men is because one time I made a joke like this about, you know, men causing problems for people and stuff. Um, and then people said, and I'm quoting, I'm not, uh, Twitch, don't ban me. They said, oh, haha, ha, we hate men. And then Twitch banned multiple people for two weeks, one of my mods included, for hateful conduct. And the context of uh, this joke was that someone in my chat was being homophobic and being like, all your sins are lesbians, me, 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 me. And then I made fun of them and was like, why would I marry a man? And then it resulted in my mod getting banned on Twitch for two weeks. I'm absolutely not joking. The, the jokes that were happening in chat were in response to literally a person being homophobic. And who did Twitch ban for two weeks? Not them. Huh. Right? Yeah. So where does that tell- what does that tell us about Twitch's priorities, you know? <sighs> anyway. The homophobic person got banned from our chat, but not by Twitch because, I mean, when Twitch is, like, reviewing these things, um, their messages didn't contain, like, outright hate speech, which is what they're looking for. Um, it was, like, homophobic in context. Um, them being like, no! All your sims are lesbians, no! Like, in context was bad of them to say, but Twitch is not gonna look at that and be like, insta-ban. Whereas if you're saying you hate something, men included, apparently, that gets you insta-banned on Twitch. Anyway. <laughs> And this is really frustrating to us because we look at what happens on Twitch, right? Um, and so much of Twitch is is hateful, misogynistic men. Uh, Non-men on Twitch are subject to literal non-stop harassment. And who gets banned? Not those harassers, that's for sure, apparently. So anyway, sorry to come down on you hard with that one. I don't know if you were joking, but please don't go around being like, what's wrong with men? Why are you guys saying this? Me, 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 me. Like as if we're the problem, okay? It's just, it's a sore subject for us in this case. No one actually hates men. They hate the system that's causing this to happen, okay? Um. <laughs> anyway, sorry for my tangent. <laughs> um, sorry, again, sore subject. <laughs> Um, all right. I think as long as we get a couple little flowers and stuff and we fill in these things, that seems beautiful. Extra guest room. What kind of headphones amazing? Oh, these are the Logitech Aurora headphones. They're cute, right? And I got a pink cord. 
They're actually wireless, but I use a cord with them for my mixer, um, and it's pink. This isn't from Logitech, this is just from Amazon, to be honest. <laughs> um, but it's pink! I like it. It matches my border around my face cam. Um, okay, last guest room before we get to the queen's space. We'll get this one done. Um, okay. Can Sims cook on corner counters? Yeah, they can, as long as you don't have any items blocking it. Um, or like, you know, uh, decor on it. Sims can cook on the corner counters, yes. Um... Can there be a wishing well in the castle grounds? Oh, you're in luck. I literally have one. It's back here. We need to organize it a bit more, but... These beds are all from a pack called Realm of Magic, by the way. Um, they're pretty. I like them. Um... Okay. I think... Take this. This is a 64 by 64 lot in Windenburg, Kat. Um, the, the lot's official name is Von Windenburg Estate. <laughs> uh, but it's a 64 by 64 lot in Windenburg. Okay. Um, maybe green for those curtains. Okay. Um... Good. The pack needs a complimentary cast kit. I think that would be really fun. If they made more medieval content for The Sims 4, I would really, really like that. <laughs> a lot. Um, I think they should do that. I would have loved that. If the two kits that came out today were like... I think, honestly, I think that they probably would have gotten a lot of criticism for making two separate kits that were like one was closed and one was build and not like making a stuff pack because you you know we're wasting money because you don't get the gameplay aspect of it but if they had done like a complimentary thing and there was like medieval fashion and clothes i think i just or and clothes duh, and furniture i don't know it'd be cool to have like a i want a medieval pack i just want old stuff wouldn't that be so fun but it, we would have, it would have been a bad idea. Like that would have been a, I mean, it's a waste of people's money for it to be both the same and um, they would have probably gotten a lot of criticism, valid criticism for doing that. But doesn't mean that I wouldn't have liked it. <laughs> um, okay, vampires. Oh, these are nice actually. Those things, but I'll probably use this here. Okay, cool. What gameplay would you want with this though? I don't know. <laughs> it's not my job to pick, is it? <laughs> I don't really know. Um, they could get away with doing something kind of funky, kind of like how the um, Romantic Garden stuff has the wishing well, like something kind of wacky and random, like a wishing well sort of situation could be kind of fun. The Pit Beast, like from Sims Medieval. Dragons? I don't know. Mostly the pit beast. Jousting. <laughs> the number of times I've said I want jousting in The Sims as a joke. And today, all of a sudden, it's like, wait, maybe we're serious. <laughs> Do you guys remember the other day? I don't know if you were here. Let me see if I can pull it up. Um, um, what's it called? Golden Oak. So in Golden Oak... It's like this fancy Disney neighborhood. Um, literally, it's like a neighborhood of mansions in Disney World. Um, and there's a house that is $16 million on the market. Oh my god, there's ads playing. I can't show it to you right now. I'll come back to this. No one can miss this. No one can miss this. I, I'll make sure that they, they get to see the full thing. <laughs> I won't tell them anything before the ads are done. It's too important, but we we're talking about dragons, so I have something dragon related to show you. This is scary, I'm warning you now. Oops. Okay. Um. 
I'll put those both there. Okay. Does this seem okay to you? I think so. So we have four guest rooms that the people can stay in. And I like it. You can live in Disney. Well, so it's a neighborhood of mansions called Golden Oak that is on Disney property. It's also on the Four Seasons Resort property, which is like a very expensive, very fancy resort. If you've ever heard of the Four Seasons, Four Seasons brand. Um, and it's like a neighborhood of mansions that you have to pay like I don't know, like $80,000 a year or something to live in, probably. Ridiculous, like in HOA fees. I don't remember the exact number. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but it's ridiculous. And all the houses, there's they range in price from like $2 million to like $15 million, kind of. Um, and there's one that's been on the market for literally years, okay? This house has been on the market for sale for literally years because nobody wants this thing. We were digging around, uh, looking at all of the photos on the listing the other day on stream, because, you know, as one does. You guys, when I show you this, this is their back patio, okay? So we think that it's a pizza oven that is toothless like the dragon from how to train your dragon so this is a 16 million dollar house and they have all these random touches of disney weirdly that's not even disney <laughs> wrong brand <laughs> but like we were just joking about this so you know us bringing up dragons today 16 million dollars 16 million dollars Anyway, the jump scare of us like looking through the photos and then seeing that was like, whoa. <laughs> anyway, they have a bunch of like, there's like Mickey Mouse motifs places and stuff. It's, you can look up Golden Oak if you're curious, um, if you wanna see more photos of these places, but we were just talking about dragons. So I figured I should mention it. <laughs> Felt like I should bring that one up for you, you know, as we're here talking about dragons. Um. Do you guys want to do the basement now? Because I'm actually kind of excited about the basement part. So maybe I'll do that next. So this is going to be the kitchen. Um, I shall use the castle estate kit. I don't mind if the stairs clip too much on this part, I don't think. It's going to be really dark down here too. Are those dungeons? Yeah, these are. <laughs> and these are where the servants are going to sleep. That part's not meant to be creepy. Um, okay, so we're gonna make this ideally a fully functional kitchen down here for them in the basement. Wow, that's dark. Um, again, doesn't have to be the most realistic thing in the world, just has to work. Your husband did duct work in that house? <gasps> Oh my God, you guys, the, the miracle of like the reaching power of the internet. You have just made my day. Your husband's been in that house. <laughs> that, you, that is so cool. That is so cool. I can't believe that. I, I wonder what it's like when you, I don't know. I don't even really know where exactly this neighborhood is, if I'm being honest. Um, I wonder what it's like when you like drive up to that place and when you approach it. I bet it's so weird. In what house? Oh, in a $16 million mansion for sale in Disney's Golden Oak neighborhood. <laughs> We've got ties to the inside. <laughs> Okay, I kind of like that actually. Um, I think maybe they should have a table for themselves down here. 
So, so when we say on Disney property, if you guys aren't from or haven't been to Orlando before, um, Disney has an extremely vast amount of property. Like, it is very sprawling and most of it is undeveloped. Um, there, it's like, we're talking like forests and then the parks are kind of dotted around in their property. They have all kinds of hotels and stuff. It is very big. Like when we're talking about Disney World, it's not just the one theme park. It's four theme parks, two water parks, a bajillion hotels. There's other stuff on there too. Um, and so when we say it's on Disney property, it's not like in the Magic Kingdom. It's on their property, but they have a lot of property. So, <laughs> um, they have like their own fire department and stuff. Um, the sink counter is on the wall, but it's not counting it because this is a... The wall from this is not working, right? Um, because it's a staircase. That's why it's being kind of weird. Um, but anyway, it's a, it's big. <laughs> so, um, saving the game is a good idea, chat. You're right for that. Um, oh, this is good, actually. We should definitely use that down here. Maybe we could get the, like, laundry thing as well, the wash basin. Um, I want to get a little table. Honestly, I'll just use some chairs like that. It's kind of what I'm picturing. Should try to make a golden oak house in The Sims 4 for a video. I literally would. <laughs> I would have so much fun doing that. <laughs> um, anyway, that would be kind of funny. Will it have a moat? Oh, it does have a moat, actually. Disney properties restricted airspace. Yeah, it is. I mean, unfortunately, it kind of makes sense, right? Like from a safety perspective, it, that's probably why. Um, can't like have people, it's a massive tourist destination. So probably has a high security threat all the time, unfortunately. I mean, like you think about how many people go there every day. Um, so, scary, but <laughs> they gotta be real careful about security. Um, yeah, the nectar cellar idea is kind of good too. I wonder if we just put some like nectar racks down here. Only a limited part of it is restricted airspace. Yeah, probably just, I mean, like again, they have a ton of properties, probably just the parts of pro the property that are like, that have a lot of people at them all the time. Um, I cannot understate how big their property is. Um, so. Um, maybe a couch of some sort for them to sit on down here? I don't know. Hmm. Crates? Yeah, that's true. Crates might be good also, I guess. Maybe. Barrels or something. Maybe barrels are better than crates. Barrel. And then like a wooden bench. Wooden bench is good. Just a barrel like that. Oh, you know what we could do? How about instead of this, we put like these sorts of barrels up. That might be good for this. Maybe a bigger fireplace. Oh, we kind of liked this one just because of how it looks. I think we thought the fireplace was kind of good, style-wise. She doesn't really fit that well. We'll put it down there. Um, okay. What season would be the best to go to Disney? Oh boy. Um, I personally, would not encourage you to visit Florida in the summertime. Uh, you run the risk of a lot of things. One, it's hurricane season and you, that's out of your control. Who knows when, when one is gonna come. Um, two, it is so unbearably hot. So hot. 
It's so bad. The humidity and the heat, you will feel like you're drowning in the air. It's so unpleasant. Now, decent time to come. Um, the summer is a lot. September is still hot. October, October is still hot. November is sometimes a good time to come. September is uh, oftentimes a bit, a bit slower. Emphasis on a bit because a lot of people are going back to school, so they don't always bring their kids to Disney on the first couple weeks of school. But, um, but anyway, I, I would, I would recommend coming, not in the summer. <laughs> Obviously, like, the holidays, like, around December is always extremely busy, but you might want to see it at Christmas. Um, it's kind of up to you. Um, but, anyway, just <laughs> keep in mind, if you want to avoid the heat, not the summer is probably the best time. <laughs> um, I just wouldn't come to Florida in the summertime if I were you. <laughs> Obviously, a lot of people can't avoid that because it's, like, when you have off school and stuff, but, um... You'll have a better time if it's not in the summer. I'm gonna change the lighting of that to be uh, darker, by the way, when we bring a sim here. How is the tourist season? When is it? The tourist season at Disney is all the time. Literally all the time. No matter what, all the time. It's busy all the time. Um, some days are more busy, but it's always busy. Always. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, it, it's kind of unbearable. I'm looking, I opened the app for wait times. Um, Slinky Dog Dash at Hollywood Studios is 120 minutes. That's one of the higher ones always, but right now. On a weekday, on like a Wednesday morning, it'll be 120 minutes. In January. And you're like, why? Well, everyone goes. <laughs> it's always busy. <laughs> always busy. <laughs> Uh, that one in particular, Slinky Dog, is a, um, it's like a kid's roller coaster, and it's one of the only, like, big rides that is appropriate for little ones in that park, because Hollywood Studios has some bigger, like, thrill rides, like Tower of Terror is a big drop tower, stuff that kids don't want to do, so Slinky Dog usually has a pretty long wait. It's not, like, the best ride in the world, but it's a really fun one because it's Toy Story themed, um, and kids can ride it, and they don't always want to ride everything else in the park, so... It's fun, but the wait's long. Um, should they have these little beds like this in their rooms down here, maybe? I don't know. Um, definitely given dungeon with the beds. Well, these are the servants' rooms. This is the dungeon. You think single bed? Really? I was gonna try and be nice to them. You guys are mean. Let it be known. You're the one saying that, not me. Maybe these could be okay. There's not a stable because the moat takes up too much room, Hope. I know. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> The, the moat is too big, so we can't have stables. So sad. Um, maybe if we did that, then we could have like a... I don't know, I think I want to have like a dresser of some sort. For them. Okay. The queen owns a stable off-site. Yes, her stable is, um, it's just a little bit farther out, so you can't see it from here. <laughs> that's all. That's the reason. Right, you understand. Um, maybe they could have, like, maybe you guys have some flowers in yours. Maybe the next people have some, like... I don't know, how about a basket? in yours, and maybe, I'm trying to think what would maybe be good and useful. I like the idea of books of some sort, or like this, I don't know, that's too big size up. Or like that, some supplies, I don't know. 
a little pitcher. Oh, that might be kind of interesting. You know what else they could have is maybe something like that. I don't really want to decorate them too much. Well, that sounds bad. But I want them to be kind of simple. Keeping up with their correspondence, you know? Um, well, Alice, I mean, you don't know which role these people serve. Um, so we don't need, you guys don't need to call them all Ill illiterate. <laughs> That's, I mean, A, it's the same so everybody can read. Um, but B, uh, the, in our, in our dream world, everyone can read, so. That's kind of wild, that's a take. <laughs> I know it's old, but, you know. Okay, I like this. We were gonna give them the laundry thing, that was the last thing, right? Um, so, laundry, I wanna put, this here. Eh, that color is fine. Okay. Um, this is a universe where the queen is choosing to not produce an heir. Anything is possible here. <laughs> yeah. I'll then paint the outside basement walls too. Okay, so down here, this side obviously is like the servants' quarters. This side is the dungeon, as you can see. Um, we haven't done the grounds yet. We'll do that last. The next thing we have to do is the queen's quarters. Um, and this is the queen's bedroom in here. So. Um, yes, chat. We all know that that has happened before. It's not, this isn't the only time that a person has chosen to not produce an heir, okay? <laughs> Christine was just making a joke. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I think we've all been sat here making jokes about Queen Elizabeth all day, if it makes you feel better. <laughs> um, thought she already made her bedroom. No, um, this is the queen's quarters on the top floor. These four are all guest rooms. Maybe the queen gets a different bed. I love this bed though. I want to use it everywhere because I like it so much. I know it's maybe not the most perfect thing to use everywhere, but um, I just like it. I like it so much. <laughs> so I kind of want to use it. Is this Queen Cordelia? Maybe, I hadn't really thought about it too much. We could pretend that it is if you want. You think the queen should die without an heir and the whole realm is plunged into chaos? Oh, maybe. Oh, that's a door. I forgot. I don't really want to use the purple star swatch too much. I kind of like the floral rose one. There is a bust of Cordelia that we could use. It might be good to put that throughout more of the building. Like we could probably put that on the fireplace. Put it over here. Flowers and a bust. Okay. Good. So, oops, I forgot about your door. Sorry to the queen, my bad. You, oh no, 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 you go through the hallway, I forgot. So what we're doing in this, it maybe seems weird, but um, kind of reminiscent a little bit of a lot of these old palaces and stuff where, uh, like the royal chambers. Uh, if you go to like Versailles, for example, there will be like a living room and then a door to another living room and then door to another living room. And then there's like bed chambers way in the back. And it's like the closer you get into the bed space, the more private the space gets and like the less kind of people are allowed to come in. Um, this is not really how this will be laid out, but that's what we're pretending is kind of happening. So we're gonna have some like, um, like public spaces, like living room type stuff happening up in here in these rooms. Does that make sense? Um, that was kind of the vision. Um, well, that kind of makes it hard to walk through there, but that's okay. 
Um, so, oh, you know what? I'm gonna give you guys Bust of Cordelia again. You can have one, and so can you. <laughs> um, what is that on the floor? Oh, that's tea. We were thinking about using a tea set in here. I don't know if we actually will. Some people were saying to make this into a dressing room, but I don't know. You're 10 minutes away from Versailles but only went twice? Well, I had my phone stolen at the train station when I went to Versailles. They took it out of my, uh, like, closed pocket of my purse. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> um, but that was a fun time <laughs> when that happened. I was like 18 years old and I was in France <laughs> and my phone got stolen. <laughs> so, ah. <laughs> it happens. Um, you used to be really careful when you're, um, in big cities, so be warned, I guess. Um, very rude, but honestly impressive. Yeah, I noticed, I didn't even notice until me and Dan, we like got there and I was like, oh my God, my phone's not here. Like checking in my bag. And I remember getting like bumped into, I felt like I was getting shoved. The train station was really busy, but I remember getting like shoved. <laughs> um, but I wasn't really paying attention. It was so busy. I get so anxious in crowds and you know, well, they shoved into me and then stole my phone, and they were good at it. So honestly, good for them, but yeah, that was sad for me. Um, they're pretty smooth. <laughs> keep your keep your belo belongings in zippered closed pockets and stuff and hold it on to you. That was when I had to make a second Discord account, yeah, because I couldn't, um, I couldn't two-factor get into my Discord account, um, on, like, Dan's phone and stuff, um, and so I had to make a second one. <laughs> and I had to get Dan to give me admin in my own server. <laughs> Cause I couldn't, I couldn't get into my own server because I, um, I didn't have like my phone. And then I, I bought a new phone in London when we, when we got back to London, but I didn't have like a US SIM card or anything. So I couldn't get my phone number. <sighs> anyway, I bought a new phone because I was really nervous about traveling in Europe without one, obviously. So I wanted to buy one before I got home. Um, which, you know, makes sense. Um, yeah, that would have been, I think that was like March of 2019, I think, or 20, was that March of 2018? No, that was March of 2018 is when that happened. So that was a while, while ago now. Um, but did I get my phone back? Oh no. Oh no. That person is long gone with my phone. And probably a lot of other people's phones. <laughs> um, I did not get my phone back. <laughs> Most definitely not. <laughs> so. Um, good for them though. They were successful. Um, I was born in 1999, Clara. Uh, thank you for the reset, by the way. And Sophie and Renner and Meeks and Nessa and Ezra, thank you for the subs. Um, yeah, I was born in 99 though. Um, so I guess I was like 19, I don't know. I'm not, I don't really remember when it was exactly, but I was young and I was scared. That's all I know. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I'm a 90s kid. <laughs> you know me, born in August of 99. <laughs> 90s baby. <laughs> Um, I was able to, I, my stuff was like backed up. So I got my photos and stuff back. Um, it was, it was more so like for me, the, the scary part was mostly just that I was like in Europe and I didn't have my phone, you know, thankfully my, um, like I still have my wallet and stuff. Um, it was just my phone that got stolen, but it was like scary to be traveling and like not have your phone. I felt kind of unsafe, you know, I was like, what if I get lost or something. I was with Dan and Dan had his phone, but you just feel so like out of place and scared when you don't have it. Um, oh no, I didn't have to delete my Discord account. I just was able, I was able to get back into it when I got home. Um, and once I had my like phone number to two factor authenticate again, um, I just couldn't get like a verification text to get into my Discord account for like two days. <laughs> I thought my phone got stolen. So it's no problem. 
<laughs> I still use that Discord account today, the original one, but um, it was just a couple days there where I was in Europe. Um, yeah, you feel like so naked without your phone, you know? Um, and especially when you're traveling, scary. You forget how um, much you like rely on it, you know? Um, okay, so this is gonna become a living room in this section. Um, yeah, it really stinks to get your stuff stolen. Thank thankfully, my wallet didn't get stolen because when your wallet gets stolen, it's a way, honestly, it's like less expensive, I guess, but it's a bigger ordeal to have to like quick cancel all your cards and get a new ID and like, oh, so my wallet wasn't stolen. And then you, you feel so violated when your stuff gets stolen as well, you know? Um, sad, but. Your debit card got stolen? Ah, that's so scary. That is so scary. Hopefully you managed to get it fixed. Um, okay. Yeah, it scares me too. Like so many people, um, they use phone cases with their credit cards, like in the phone case. Like sometimes um, a lot of people just like stick their cards in here, like take the phone case off and stick it in there. Um, and I know that that is useful, but like, then you're really stuck <laughs> if it all gets taken and your ID's in there. Uh-oh. <laughs> but a lot of people use their phone case as their wallet, you know, they have, they make phone case wallets. I'm sure they're very useful, but it scares me. Um, that always scares me. Well, that seems okay, actually. Um, so, anyway, it's more convenient. And I get it, like, when you're going out, you don't want to have to bring, like, a wallet and a phone or whatever, but, um, anyway. <laughs> After having my phone stolen, I just think about it a lot. <laughs> I worry about that now. <laughs> um, that's true, now that Apple Pay and stuff, like, to tap pay is more common, that's easier. It is helpful. Um, so, I don't know what chairs to use. Maybe these ones? Do I do it in red? Maybe? I think so. Maybe I'll get a fireplace in here. That's why you buy jackets with inside pockets. Oh, that's smart. Look, I'll tell you one thing that I don't know a lot about. Jackets. <laughs> um, me, here, in Florida, not my area of expertise, let's just say that. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, smart, Christine, smart to triple check in advance. Um, no, it'll be fun, Hope. I'm excited about it. I look forward to a day of cold. I do own jackets. I'm making a joke about me being from Florida, obviously, as you know, but um, <laughs> reflecting on us cold weather people. I'm sorry, I know it's very insensitive, especially given the state of most of the country right now. <laughs> Everyone is literally frozen. Um, I'll stop talking. <laughs> I will shut up. It's not nice of me to speak this way. <laughs> anyway, my bad. Sorry, everybody. Just stops knowing where you are. You know what? It's um, really big news for us on Sunday. This is huge where I am, okay? Low of 36 degrees Fahrenheit on Sunday. The 30s. We don't have that. That is like two degrees Celsius, by the way, but it's gonna be in the 30s on Sunday. Uh-huh, I'm actually really excited. <laughs> I'm getting really excited about it. Um, imagine you come to Florida on vacation thinking it's gonna be like nice and warm and you're gonna have like a great time and then it's 30 degrees, 36 degrees. 
Um, it's 25 and I have to leave for an event in two hours. Mm. Well, hope that doesn't sound like very much fun. I'm sorry, I'll stop talking though. It's, again, it's insensitive. It's much colder everywhere else, so. Is that normal here for it to be cold like one day um, or, or what? Cause uh, usually we have like a couple days in the year, like maybe like last year, there were only two days where it got below freezing and it was actually on Christmas and it was like 31 degrees for like an hour overnight. And then, you know, it was barely below freezing, but it was exciting when it happened. Cause it was like, oh my God, it's freezing. <laughs> um, 32 degrees is freezing in Fahrenheit. Um, but it, it's like maybe a couple days out of the year where it gets like that cold. Usually in the winter, it's like maybe lows of 40s, sometimes higher than that, um, 50s, 60s. The coldest it gets is like lows of 40-ish. Um, so anyway, sorry, I know again, it's insensitive. <laughs> I'll stop talking about it now. <laughs> um, let me grab this. Am I going to paint the ceilings? We did paint the ceilings and we were really frustrated by it because it was being so laggy in the in the process, but um, we did we did paint the ceilings already. Now it's playing the Sims church music again. It's only a 30 minute soundtrack, so it refreshes a lot. It's not that bad. The previous song is worse. Um, okay. So let's start doing some landscaping then, I guess. What do you mean church? If you didn't hear it, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's, it's literally meant to be like church music from a game called The Sims Medieval. Um, so this one isn't as much. The one previously is literally called The Eyes of the Watcher. So do I play this music because no copyright? Well, partially. It's also, I mean, I don't normally play the Sims Medieval soundtrack. Um, I'm playing it today because we're building a castle and it's kind of fun to do. Um, I don't normally play Sims Medieval soundtrack on stream, obviously. <laughs> um, but we're playing it today because we're building a little medieval castle and it's funny. Um, but yeah, I, I play a lot of Sims soundtracks on stream because it won't get me copyright strikes. Um, okay. Um, the Watcher is God in The Sims and the Watcher is you. In case that wasn't clear. <laughs> get in. Um, let me do it like this. I'm okay with this. Um, maybe I should have put them closer up and then I'll put like a bigger bush on the other side. Uh-oh. Did that break something? No. We are fine. We're on the 64 by 64 lot in the island on Windenburg, by the way, if you recognize this area. Um... Okay. What's that little brat kid's name? The teenager's called Luna. What's the boy called? And they live with like their dad, Jacques. Not Alexander Goth, Max. His name is Max, you know the guy. That's who lives here. Um, and they have an older brother called Hugo as well. Um, they don't live here anymore, I guess, because I bulldozed them, but they did. Should I put an extra one of these little bushes in, perhaps? I like that, right? I think so. We can maybe use that floor tile, the other one from this pack that has like the mossy bits just for this garden section. Maybe I'll get a fountain as well. 
That might be kind of pretty. Center it. So you can walk around this and have some pretty stuff to look at. I like the vision. Okay, have I played The Sims Medieval? I Yeah, we streamed quite a bit of The Sims Medieval, actually. Um, it's uh, quite a lot. Okay, now is probably a good time, actually. I have um, two more codes that I want to do throughout the rest of the stream. Um, I'll do the castle one first. Um, let me open up the giveaway again. So we have, this is also because of EA, thanks EA. Um, I have a copy of the castle estate kit. Um, if you want to enter for a chance to win, oh, I was gonna, okay, how about this? Type the word cow plant if you want to enter for a chance to win. I was gonna say type knight, but that's too confusing because you might think knight like the time and not knight like the knight statue. <laughs> uh, but type the word cow plant in the chat if you want a chance to win um, the castle estate kit. It's a PC and Mac code, but it is global, so no matter where you are in the world, it will work. Um, as long as you have the Sims on your computer. Okay. Should we do any other, like, grounds type things? Like, would it be weird to have some landscaping in this section? Oh, it's being so laggy. I don't really know. If I put bushes up against the edge of the building like that. I'm not sure. It might be nice to have some greenery in here. Perhaps. The lanterns under the balcony are uneven. Um, what, these ones? I think that's just the angle. I think they are the same height. Um, it's not weird? This is not weird, you think? Okay. We can keep it then. Do you think it's nice? I don't know. I think it's- I think it's helpful to have a little bit of extra plants. Okay, so if you missed it, again, we're doing a giveaway of the castle estate kit right now, and you can type the word cow plant in the chat for a chance to win. Um some wood or some wood some dirt I mean oh that is clipping now sorry <laughs> silly of me <laughs> okay um I'll give you a couple more minutes don't worry by the way about spamming it or anything every person only gets one entry so you don't need to type it a million times or anything like that every person gets an equal shot at winning um oh you know what else we need to do is fix the windows on this side of the building. Also, that is pretty annoying because of the line that I have there. I guess I could build this out one, way, one more way. Tile. Oh, I need to get a door into this too. Silly me. Should I use this door? No. <laughs> Needs to be single tile. I was hoping I can make it work, but I can't. That's the door that goes into the dungeon. Just so you know. So watch out. <laughs> um, I guess some more, like... I don't know. I'm thinking stuff like this. The crests. And then we could put some armor. In there. Something like this. Yeah. Okay, oops, yikes. Anyway, type the word cow plant in the chat for a chance to win the castle estate kit. I'll give you guys like maybe 10 more seconds. Um, so you have one, one last shot. It's the castle estate kit. It's a PC and Mac code for the castle estate kit. Um, okay, let me see about, perhaps on the indoors I can use these lights. I don't know if I like that or not, but. That's not even. Okay, ready? Last shot. Castle, estate, kit. 
Type the word cow plant and the winner in five, four, three, two, one, is anxiously unhinged. Twitch user, anxiously unhinged. <laughs> Um, hopefully you enjoyed the pack. Let me pull up your whispers. Um, like I was saying earlier, if you could just reply to this once you get my message, I sent you the code just now. Um, it's like a whispers are Twitch's DMs. So once you get the message from me, if you could just reply so that I know that you've seen it, that would be super helpful to me. Um, and all you gotta do is, uh, redeem that code in the EA app. So, um... So I'm saying no way. Oh, the typing in the chat. I bet it's always probably like such a shock to win a giveaway in a stream of this size. Like the chances of winning here with all these people. <laughs> so no one, I don't think anybody enters these like actually thinking they might win. <laughs> Cause there's just so many people, you know? So it's, I bet it's quite fun um, when, you, when you win that one. Um, you made your Twitch yesterday? No way! Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> that is really, really cool. Well, it was worth it. I'm glad that you did. <laughs> okay. It deleted a bunch of my um, freezes, so I have to go back and put them back again. Because they're gone. Gone, I tell you. You don't want to place here. Is there a reason that you refuse to place there? The left windows are a bit closer than the right. Um, I put them on the same, I use the same tile marking. So I don't think they actually are, but I could be wrong. Um, oh, these are messed up too. Am I gonna do anything in the outer square towers? I don't think so. I was thinking about just using them like pretend watch towers or something. Um, maybe we can pretend that your sims can get in there, but mostly this wall is just here decoratively. It's not really meant to be anything. So. Is there some sort of reason why it's not placing the freeze here and do you have any ideas on how I can fix it you think it's the stairs I don't think it's the stairs I think it's because of the room um it's not doesn't want to place Redraw it, like redraw the wall. We can try that. Oops, I'm not on the... I don't think that's gonna make a difference though. Well. It wants to place inside, it does not want to place on the outside. It's like trying to place there. I made it worse. Um. I hate freezes. <sighs> I'm worried if I do this, it's gonna break it again. Look at the visual glitch. There we go. Go away. Not there. Just on the outside walls, okay. Oh. It's fine. Everything is fine and completely under control. Completely under control. Oh my god, now this is happening too. I noticed when that was happening, I had to like switch it to be a different type of foundation and then put it back and then it stopped glitching. testing me. It is testing me. Oops, you could probably go higher up. That's where all the other ones are. You guys, I saved like two seconds ago. I will save again, but just, you don't need to panic or anything, okay? Because <laughs> I did save like two seconds ago. Um, two tiles over. Place here. 
place here, place here. Okay, that's fine. And then a little bit more. Whew. Can I have a horse stable in the courtyard? I don't know. I'm worried that the courtyard isn't big enough for that. You guys keep saying stables, but like, look at how big the horse, oh, that's not the right thing. Oh, that's because I didn't use it anymore. Um, I used to have the horse bed down there. The horse bed is big. Like, look at how much space that takes up. Um, well, they, yes, they would have stables in the courtyard, but we didn't build this courtyard with the plans of adding stables in, so there's not really enough space for it. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Um, outside wall missing paint. Oh, because I redid this. The windows on the left were closer together, were they? Not anymore. I've decided. Maybe other stables lot close by. That's what we were telling people. We were joking about how maybe she has stables like over there. <laughs> Off the lot. <laughs> um, where it is less uh, difficult for us to try and fit them in for her. <laughs> we're making this hard on ourselves. <laughs> Um, well, I guess like what I could do is try and line these up with where they are on the other window wall. Okay. Okay. Um. There we go. Maybe she has an indoor horse. Ooh, there you go. Who's the sim we're building this for? Oh, no one in particular. We're pretending that there's a queen, but we don't have any like particular queen in mind. We're just saying, oh, there is a queen. Kinda is the vibes. So that's mostly it. Um, okay. I think I shall put on either end of this the thingy. This is gonna be pricey. Yeah, I'm excited to play a little guessing game and try and figure out how much it costs. I'm currently struggling to try and decide um, how much of this we should actually fill in. We need to get a mailbox too. I'm trying to decide how much we should put here. Um, be able to stick it there so it's functional because I'm worried about like I don't know in this courtyard area there's a lot of recommendations to add like market stalls and you know things like that I don't know if I want to do that that's kind of where I'm struggling a little bit oh we need to get trash cans too we don't have any trash cans in this house um not that one that one. Let me see if I can find a trash can that we can use. The idea of just a mailbox outside of a castle. I know, it's annoying, but it's functionally it's necessary for the game. So <laughs> this trash can also is ridiculous, but again, functionally it is necessary for us to play The Sims with. So we'll figure it out. Um, romantic garden furniture might- oh, that's a good idea actually, romantic garden furniture, because it's stone. So we can maybe put some of that stuff in the courtyard. We could also maybe get another one of the fountains that we had. I wasn't really thinking about this, but this could be kind of fun too. Oh my gosh, you guys. On either side. That's kind of good. A fountain in the center. What if instead of those there, they get these kind of fun fountains on the wall? Because that's kind of good too, right? Okay. What else? Romantic garden. Um. 
Those don't really work for this purpose. But we were talking about like the stone benches. And I think that these might not actually be too bad if I put like a couple of them around. Wishing well would be so cool. We actually have the wishing well back here out in the grounds. So we do have some of that, luckily. Two tiles over. I'll get a couple of these. Oh dear. Well, now I have windows there. I guess I know that I should put them in a little bit so it's even. The benches are facing the wrong way. I don't think so. Are these? Oh, those are. Um, okay. I'm worried. I don't know how much to put in the grounds. I don't know what to do with it. I am not going to put stables. I almost don't even want to put planter boxes. I feel like... I'm, I'm kind of interested in the idea of like... Maybe some fancy plants on either side of the doorway entrance. And maybe there could be like one fancy plant there. Does this come in red? No, of course not. Um, at a marketplace. Yeah, so that's what people keep yelling about. Um, and we have sort of been talking, or at least I've been talking about how I don't know if that is what I want. That wasn't really what I was picturing with this. I'm not really envisioning this being a place that is like open to the public. Um, and we already decided that stables weren't gonna fit right. So, um, I think that a marketplace, if we had built this on purpose with the intention of adding it, it might be kind of cool, but we didn't design this with purpose of that, you know? Um, so it's not gonna fit. And the stable, I'll show you again doesn't fit. The horse bed is way too big. Like, look at, look at this. If you put, try, try and put it in the side, there's no space. Um, I like the idea of a little bit of greenery, like we've been adding like this, I think is kind of cool. Um, so some bushes like that, maybe, yeah, I don't, I don't think it needs to be that much either. I think like kind of open is good. I'm worried about, honestly, I'm really worried about doing more with the landscaping because I don't want to close this off as a room. And as you know, the game is being really laggy, so. No, it's not round platforms. I'll show you the throne again in a second. It looks like maybe it's platforms. It's not, it's a set piece item from Get Famous. Um, look at this in here. This is a whole item. It's actually sized down even. It's not a chair, which is kind of annoying. Um, it's a set piece from Get Famous, like for the movies. Um, but it's kind of neat, right? Like it, it works for what we're trying to do. So, um, I think I like it for this purpose. Um, yeah, Get Famous has some kind of interesting stuff that you wouldn't expect. I, I don't think that they'll walk on it. Unfortunately, it's like playing pretend. Um, but yeah, it's, a, it's like a throne item from Get Famous. <laughs> um, I don't, they won't walk on it. Again, it's a set piece. So um, it's, it's purely decorative, but in a cool way. It's not even in debug. It, it's just in Get Famous. There's a whole bunch of set things in Get Famous. Sort of like that. Um, but they won't be able to sit in it annoyingly. Okay. A little bit more greenery towards the front might be kind of nice. It is struggling. It's kind of lagging. Um, it's not the new kids that are making it lag. I think that it's just the game. <laughs> <laughs> the game is just struggling. Um, 
Oh, if you don't shrink it down, Christine says they can maybe walk on the steps, but I sized mine down, so they definitely can't use it. Um, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, I'm not too worried about it being functional. It's more just for the vibes, you know? Um, okay, we have a lot of landscaping to do also. I don't want to put too much more. I don't know. I kind of feel like it should be full of pavement and that's it. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards. I realize that's maybe bad. But that's kind of what I'm thinking. We have some benches. I don't know if they need much else. And I'm okay with the corner. Like I'm okay with it being kind of open. I don't know what you guys think about that, but I'm like really okay with it being kind of open. That was kind of what I was picturing originally was like kind of subtle openness to it. But um, yeah, it's like, again, it's like more of a personal castle than anything. So she doesn't need to be sharing stuff with people. Um, I'm making space for the peasants to come. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know what I want it to be like, I guess, is the problem. And I'm overthinking it a lot about, like, what is appropriate for the build and struggling to figure out what I would want to even use. If I had built the castle smaller, it would be cool to have, like, if you built on a big lot like this. Imagine if you built something that was like a castle and then like some little cottages and farms like out in front of it, almost like a full on village. That would be kind of fun to do. Obviously there's no space for that here, but that would be kind of fun to do also. Okay. Paint around this, please. Thank you. This is a 64 by 64 lot. It's really big. Yeah, you could do that with like all of Windenburg with the whole island. I don't think that my moat looks very good. That's kind of my next order of business is that I think the moat looks bad. Um, there's a few very important um, additions that have to be included here. The first of which is an alligator, but I have to get it in a spot that's wide enough that it won't float. Is that floating? Oh, everywhere in this is too wide. So it's floating always. Are we good there? No, even that is floating. I hate you. I don't really want to landscape around the entire thing either. And the thought of trying to redo the moat, you guys, I don't think you understand how much I hate using terrain tools. If, if you only knew how much I deeply despise having to deal with that, you would understand. I just, I just hate it. Even the rocks are not, if we put too many rocks, they're gonna be able to get over it. Turn off, move objects to place the gator. Does that actually make a difference? No, I just won't let you place it. We could try and find a spot where it's wide enough, but I don't think I made it wide enough. Yeah, I mean like realistically, oh, it does fit back here. Realistically, there's not gonna be a ton of landscaping around a castle like this. Like that's just not, what would happen, you know? Um, there wouldn't be a ton, which is why we've done it like this. It's just what is growing. More water in the moat. It's not as, um, it's gonna look really bad if you, if you do that. Do you see how like choppy it gets? I don't know. I'm overthinking it. You know what I might try and do? Some of this stuff from 
cottage living debug. You know how they have like those really big sets of flowers in the cottage living debug? I'm thinking something like, mm, like this. I wanna put some of these around to fill in some of the open space. You see what I mean? Oh, those are floating a bit because of my terrain tools. <laughs> but I think that might be nice. Kind of makes it look like a meadow. And then we can blend it in with the rest of the lot too. Kind of fill it all in. These don't really fit that well back here. Oh, that fits okay. Um... We can try and put a bunch of flowers in some places. Maybe one that's more just grass. Could be a fun idea to add. But that fills in a lot of it. Oh my god, this music is creepy. <laughs> I don't like this song. This is the one I keep talking about. It's the eyes of the watcher. Ooh. Um... I want like, that one's tighter. Should we try and add in like little, that's not worth it to do that. Bye Shella, thanks for hanging out, I'll see you later. <laughs> you like it, you don't find it creepy? Oh really? I It's not creepy creepy. I think like just by comparison, it catches me off guard every time, so. Um, oh, we should do some fireflies and stuff around the outside, too. It might be kind of nice for the vibes. I'll hide them in the bushes. Am I live for much longer? Um, I usually stream till about 7 Eastern time, and it's 6.52. We're actually pretty close to being done with the build. I can't stay live too late tonight, um, because Drag Race is on tonight, and I have to make dinner before Drag Race. So it's really serious you guys I've got big plans later <laughs> so I can't we can't be here too long <laughs> it's a big night for us <laughs> um okay I think okay I actually think it's looking okay to the best that I can I know, I can't believe the castle took less streams than the cruise ship. I guess realistically the castle isn't actually that big. A lot of it is like big empty space. The building itself isn't that big. And it's kind of weird, like this throne room is so much basically empty space. You know? So it's not too hard to furnish it. Um, you know what I do have, actually, before, before we wind down too much? I have one last giveaway code. Um, this one is for the Goth Galore pack. Um, let me pull up my bot again so we can do the last giveaway code. Um, if you would like to enter for a chance to win this one, um, can you please type the word... Yeah, type the word gator in the chat. G-A-T-O-R. Like, like, the alligator? <laughs> type the word gator in the chat for a chance to win the goth galore kit um that's the cast kit that came out yesterday the fashion one um ezra and and zing and torty and Carden, thank you for the subs everybody um did i enter i should just in case um, but we'll do that while we're doing some finishing touches on the build getting all those last minute things in i don't know what else i would add the only thing is, like, maybe if I did some more terrain paint around this, but even then, I don't really know how to... Look, here's the problem, you guys. I don't know what a moat's supposed to look like. I don't know how to do a moat in The Sims. I don't know what I'm doing. Some graves out back? Oh, that's kind of funny, actually. Maybe I'll put, like, a... Uh couple headstones. I don't know who they belong to, but I'll get a couple headstones out back underneath this tree. Maybe. Just 
scary. Very scary. They're recent as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe it's the gator's victims. Thoughts on that? They all belong to the gator. We can do some fish spawners a little bit easier also if we really wanted to. I feel like the queen would have some swans. She can have swans over here by the gator. Because that fits. Anyway, you can type the word gator in the chat for a chance to win um, the, <laughs> the what's it called? Goth Galore Kit. We're doing a, a giveaway of the Goth Galore Kit. It's a PC and Mac code, um, so it works as long as you have the Sims on your computer, and it is global, and all you gotta do is type the word gator in the chat for it to enter you. Okay, back here. Still have the wishing well. Um... You think some lily pads would be nice? I don't know, we've been talking about how, like, realistically, I don't think we want to landscape the moat that much. Um, I'm, I'm not like completely opposed to it, but I, I do feel like, I don't know if I really want to put too much in there in the moat, you know? I wasn't really planning on putting like any pond weeds or anything either, cause they just give me, I don't, the moat is so, I don't know if I like it. If anything, I might put them like nearby to the bridge. But I don't think that the lily pads like fit the moat vibes. You know what I mean? Given they are like pretty lily pads and whatnot, and this is like a murderous moat to keep out intruders that's haunted by a crocodile. You know? Anyway, if you missed it, we're doing a giveaway of the goth galore kit. Um, and all you gotta do is type the word gator in the chat for a chance to win. Um, and we'll draw that winner in a minute or so. The lily pads are too pretty. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's best. I'm actually really, really, really unsure of what to do. Kind of trying to layer some landscaping down here. I'm okay with landscaping underneath the bridge. You think a moat is clean? Yeah, they probably dump some- I mean, let's be honest for a second. They probably dump some absolutely nasty vile stuff in there. It stinks, and I do not think that it supports life. You know? <laughs> like, they're just dumping out their, their, like, chamber pots in this. <laughs> I don't know if, if things, I mean, maybe things do grow in there. But it's probably full of, like, literal sewage. So. Nothing pretty is growing in there, at least. <laughs> okay, final call, by the way. Type the word gator in the chat for a chance to win the goth galore kit. Uh, and I'll draw the winner in a second. We only have one code left. Um. Who am I rooting for in season 16? Plasma! You know why? Because Plasma is friends with someone here in our chat. We learned that today. We as a community are team Plasma because we know her. <laughs> Not really, but I choose to believe that, you know? <laughs> Friend of the stream, Plasma, our bestie. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me uh, draw the winner here. 10 seconds, last call. Type the word gator in the chat for a chance to win the goth galore kit. Ready? Last call, last call, last call. Um, in five, four, three, two, one. Draw a trend. Laura, I typed it early. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Laura Brodo. Laura Brodo is the winner of the goth galore kit. Um, there's over a thousand entries, so please don't feel too bad if you did not win. Um, there's only so many codes, and there are a lot more people here than there are codes. <laughs> so, Laura, when you get my message, um, if you could just reply, I sent you a whisper on Twitch. It's, uh, like, Twitch's DMs. You should get a notification. Um, if you could just reply, that'd be great, because I know you've seen it. Um, so that way we can get it, uh, all delivered and sorted. Oh, last thing is this room. Um, and we'll get this all organized, too. Um, hey, thank you for the raid. Oh, you're here at a great time. Oh my gosh. We're about to do a tour of my finished castle. Genuinely could not have been better timing to raid. Welcome in, everybody. <laughs> well, I mean, we did just do a giveaway and it just ended. But otherwise, 
<laughs> we are um, we're about to to do a tour of my finished castle. We've spent like ages working on this, um, and we've just finished it. So this is a good time to to show up. Um, I do want to actually bring a sim here so that I can change the lighting color too. So that's I guess the main last thing we have to do is change the lighting color, and then we're done. Okay, let's bring a sim. Um, Jamie, Kara, Victoria, thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, there's a medieval style cover of Never Gonna Give You Up. Is there really? Oh my god. That's kind of fun. Um, okay, let's load in. This random sim shall be the queen for today. <laughs> Just so we can play test it a little bit. Um, have the codes worked out? Yeah, everybody's got them. Everybody's got the codes. These codes that I'm using are from EA, so. Um, there's a medieval cover of a lot of songs. I've never actually looked into that before. That's kind of interesting. Um, let's make all the lights a bit more yellow toned. All candles. And we can make everything even more yellow toned. We could like really go all out with it. That helps, like this thing being so yellow. Okay, it's better down here too. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, I wish you could edit lighting in build mode too. So here is the finished product. I'll change the lighting a bit. And I shall show you around. Search bard core. Okay. I will paint the basement. It is painted, right? Oh, the back. I missed the back. <laughs> it, I thought I painted the basement. I did not. Now it is. Um, okay, so let's let's look around. Here is the finished medieval castle. As you can see, there is a giant moat around the exterior. Um, it goes all the way around the outside. It's full of literal sewage. Uh, but when you first walk up to the building, you enter, you walk up the stairs, ignore the weird mailbox. It's the Sims, you need to have one. <laughs> and then you come in, we have this cool gate um, and the drawbridge. We're pretending this is a drawbridge, okay? Just go with it. You go through this gate. There's a second gate. This is around the big walls around the whole building so that you can go in. We're all guessing how much we think it costs right now. I, okay. So it was like, was it like 275 yesterday unfurnished? You guys, I think it's like 550, maybe 600,000 is my answer. I'm going 600. I'm going 600 for its for for its fully finished furnishing. Put your guesses in. Well, keep in mind it's huge and it's full of knight statues and they're all like 8,000 simoleons each. The furniture we have is very expensive. All right. Are you ready? Final guesses in. The finished building costs $570,000. Oh my god. <laughs> I was close. I said between 550 and 600. I feel good about that. Because I was way off yesterday with my original guess. So <laughs> I've redeemed myself. You said 585. Oh, you were close. That's pretty cheap for a castle, actually. <laughs> anyway, it's huge. It's huge. Okay, so let's look inside again. We'll keep going around the place. Um, then you finally come in the doors, uh, you walk in through these doors, and it takes you into the throne room. And it looks like- oh! Hold on. <laughs> There's a little boat. <laughs> Guys, ignore that, okay? <laughs> My bad. Good thing I noticed that. <laughs> okay, the throne room! <laughs> it's lined with knight statues, there's some places to sit. Um, and then you come to the right from the throne room, and in here, this is like the grand banquet hall. Um, and so we have like a huge long table, it's got a fireplace, some statues, um, it has organs down here. And then these two doors on the ends, these are like those creepy bathrooms. Um, it's like wooden toilet. They're lucky they have a toilet, not just a hole in the floor, but they have a toilet. And there's one on both sides, because there's probably a lot of guests that come here, so they have access to the bathrooms. Um, this is the throne up close. It's a get famous, uh, like set piece. 
So it's kind of cool. You, it's just all one item. I actually sized it down, believe it or not. Um, <laughs> and then you come through this door, this big archway. Um, and this is like a hallway staircase room, basically. Um, through these doors, it takes you into the library slash study for the queen. Um, and this door takes you outside. There's one on the opposite end of the um, like dining room. But this is the castle study. They have like a little secret nook back here. Um, but where I'm lost, this way. Back through this door, you can see the staircase again. Um, this door takes you into a little ladder room. That's how, oh, into the void. Um, that's where the, the servants are, but they have two entrances. So I'll show you the next one in a minute. Um, but that's like easy access for the servants to get in there. And then you go up the stairs, doo, 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 here we go. Uh, and there's a hallway. This second floor is like where all the guest rooms are because we imagine that a lot of people come and stay at the castle pretty often. Um, and upstairs is where the queen goes, but we'll show you that last. Um, in here, this is the first guest room. They all have very similar furnishings, just in like slightly different colors of beds. Um, I gave them all buckets so that they can pee. <laughs> um, and then down this way, we've got another guest room right here. Similar thing. This one's big, bigger and better and it has its own balcony. So that's kind of lucky for them. They can like look over, you know? Um, but there's their pretty bed. And then this way, oh, this way again, down the hall. We've got two more bedrooms. One of them's kind of red and one of them is kind of blue. And then they also have a bathroom with a tub so that the guests can bathe. Um, I'm in free cam mode right now. You can access it just by pressing tab chat. Um, you have to be in live mode, not in build mode. Oh no, you can do it in build mode now, I forgot. A anyway, just press tab. Any mode that you're in, just press tab. <laughs> Uh, there's a big door to a balcony back here, too. They kind of like look over the gardens from this balcony, which is kind of nice. Um, and then you go back around and you can come up the stairs into the queen's chambers. She has like a sitting area where she can take tea with people. Um, they have a big upper deck access from here, too. Um, and then you go into this door. This is like maybe like a private room where they discuss war plans. I don't know. Something like this. Um, it's E and Q to go up and down in free cam. Um, tab to go into free cam, E and Q to go up and down, and W, A, S, D to move around. But it's uh, Q to lower and E to go up, if you ever need help. <laughs> anyway, so there's like their little private meeting room, and then uh, there's like a little hallway. This takes you to the queen's bathroom. Kind of gross, but it is what it is. It's medieval times. And then um, in here, we have the queen's bedroom. Kind of small, but that's okay. She's the queen. She makes do. Um, <laughs> and that is the whole uh, upper floors. So we have the queen has her whole own floor. We have the guest room floor and then the main floor. Um, and then if you wanted to access the servant space, you can use the ladder or you can go through this door. There's like two, oops, I missed a flooring. Um, you can access, cause I had to repaint it. I forgot about that. Um, we like redid it. But you can come down here to the left side. There's a trash can because it's the same and you need one. Um, but this is like where the servants' bed chambers are. So they, they live down here. They sleep down here. Um, you don't actually need really this in the Sims to play. But if you had like a butler, they could stay down here or whatever. Um, so when you come down the stairs, this is kind of what the hallway looks like. There's the ladder access right there. Um, and then this is what their bedroom is like. They have a mirror and... Just a small bed. Gonna tell them this and put your kids there? Fair enough. And then they're all three are pretty much the same. All three of these little rooms. Um, and then through this door and down the other side of the staircase, this is the kitchen. So it's functional. You have the sink, stove, and fridge that you need to play the Sims with. Um, they have a place to sit and eat. Uh, we have like a wash basin so you can do laundry. There isn't a clothesline to dry laundry. But that's okay. And they have barrels for like wine and they have a fireplace and like a little bench to sit. So the servants don't get chamber pots. Oh, well the servants have a nice bathroom right here. They have a proper toilet. No one has ever looked at this thing and called it a proper toilet, but <laughs> the servants have a proper toilet. We could give them a chamber pot um, if we wanted to, I guess. It might be kind of fun to give them the bucket. Let me steal one. Oh, there is a dungeon. We just haven't gotten there yet. Don't worry. There is a dungeon. 
Here, they can have buckets in their room. Delicious. <laughs> okay, and then um, when you come back up here, when you're in the grounds, um, I'll show you the grounds first. We have like some nice places to walk and everything. So there's like a little fountain here. Um, there you can see it better now with the actual water running. But we have some little pretty fountains. Um, you can walk around the side this way. Uh, there's a couple benches for you to sit. And then way back here, these are the gardens. You can access these through the doors in the library and the door in the like dining room, but they have like a little sunken, cute garden space right here. Um, and then they also have this really beautiful gate that leads you to a pretty balcony. So you can look out and probably dump your chamber pot into the moat. If we're being honest, this is the easiest moat access. So this is probably the grossest part of the whole place. Um, but you know, <laughs> that's where you would do that. Um, and you might be noticing also this door. Well, this door uh, takes you to a dark and scary staircase. I'll fix that wall in a second. Oops, I'm stuck, hold on. Dark and scary staircase. Um, this is the dungeon. Uh, there's two cells down here. Um, Here's the first one. This guy, he died waiting to get out. He was knocking on the door. That guy, he died so long ago, he turned to dust. Um, but this is the first dungeon, and then this is the second dungeon. So, they have access to that, like, from the guards section. <laughs> Delicious, and beautiful, and perfect, and the whole build is so nice and lovely everywhere. Yeah, they're super dead. Super dead. I think I probably need to get some light in here. Some people were also saying that I should put rat holes, and I hadn't really considered that, but I guess that could be fun. So maybe I will do that too, as like our final touch. I don't know why I said delicious. I'm trying to like, oh no, I'm not putting, no. I'm not breaking the freezes again. I don't know why I said that, and I, please don't judge me, okay? Mouse, rat. I forget if it's a mouse hole or a, I think it is the mouse hole in the wall. Whole mouse hole in the wall. That's a very strong mouse who has dug a hole through a, is that in the same place? No. The mouse can go between them now. That's cool. Fill it with rats. <laughs> that mouse is from City Living, right? I believe so. Okay. Are they functional? Yeah, in live mode, you might see a rat come out of that. Same way that there's like VFX on the spider web. Ew! There's VFX on these from City Living where it'll come out. Oh, maybe, it, you know what it is? The This mouse hole, it might be from Cats and Dogs, but there's also one in Debug and City Living. The one in build mode is in Cats and Dogs, but there's also debug ones. They reused it in City Living. That's why I'm thinking of that. This is from Cats and Dogs though. Oh, we should put a chair so that the guard can sit down here. Maybe that's the last thing. There. Maybe like one more knight statue. See, if I try hard enough, I'll, I will have been right with the price all along. <laughs> Now I'll be closer to 600,000. <laughs> okay, there the guard can watch the skeletons down there, you know? Oh, maybe we should give him a bucket too. He's gonna be down there and he's far away from a bathroom, so here. Yikes. Maybe some more cracks just for fun. I don't know. I keep saying last thing, last thing, last thing, and then adding more. Um, here's what it looks like at nighttime. Uh, very dark, but I think that's kind of what it should be like, you know? Um, and then we should be good. You know what we should do? You guys, last touch. Is this the, that's like supposed to be the dirtier, color 
of this same swatch, right? What if I put the dir the dirty one here because that's where they dump their chamber pots out? <laughs> People in the gallery are gonna think like, oh, she used the wrong swatch. <laughs> no, no, that's on purpose. That's too pretty. That's so gross. Should the railing be dirty too? That helps tie it together, I think. It makes the colors match more. Maybe I'll put a bucket over here and then I'll, you know what I'll do? I'll put a bucket and then I'll put like the debug pet poop in the bucket to make it obvious what we're talking about. Thoughts? Oh my God, the lag is killing me. Okay, come on. There we go. That tells a story. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the bucket. I shall put it like right here and then Hold on, I have to go back in and debug Okay Poop That's the bigger one, okay Yeah should I put some like floor stains too? That's a good idea. Maybe just like a small one. That's a massive poop. I don't know. Look, you guys, who knows what they've been eating? You know? Something can spill. Are there in the, are there flies? There's mosquitoes. Maybe I'll put those there. Look. <laughs> so when you're actually playing. <laughs> Look at the swans. Yeah, that's absolutely perfect. That is just what we needed out of this. Yeah, and the scent wafting, the stink. Perfection. Absolute perfection. <laughs> no notes. <laughs> the build needs nothing else, except maybe a couple poops in the water. Should I put them like at the bottom of the... That one's floating. I mean, just a couple is good. It tells a story. No one needs to know about that. I have to stop. I don't know why their poops are so big. I'm not gonna make the poop float. You guys, that's disgusting. These are like old petrified poops. <laughs> okay, I feel really good about this. <laughs> this is just what we needed. I think now it's finished. <sighs> Beautiful, perfect castle. Okay, Windenburg Castle, maybe? Windenburg Castle. So there's four bedrooms on the second floor, plus the queen's bedroom. In total, there's two bathrooms downstairs, a bathroom in the basement, so that's three. Okay, so there's five bathrooms. Oh, wait, plus the, oh, it's eight bedrooms. Um, okay. Oh, maybe I should save first before I, just in case. Just in case. No, the dungeons don't have beds. The dungeons only have hay on the ground. Unfortunately. What did I say? Eight bedrooms? Queen Cordelia of Windenburg's castle. Featuring her... Suite on the top floor, four guest bedrooms, and three, five bathrooms. Why did I put three? And three servant bedrooms in the basement, plus two dungeons. 
Ignore the poop in the moat. Hashtag Lil Simsy. Hashtag Castle Estate. Servant. Servant quarters. We should put and just and servant quarters in the basement. Plus two dungeons. Yes. Hashtag poop moat. Yeah? I don't know. I think I'm overthinking it. Should we say Windenburg Medieval Castle? Oh no, you don't have enough characters, I can't. It's fine. I think there's a ceiling unpainted. I cannot bring myself to deal with that. All the main ceilings are painted, so it's fine. <laughs> okay. I wonder how many other hashtag poop modes there are. The music I'm playing is from The Sims Medieval in the stairway. Oh yeah, because I rebuilt the stairway. That's okay. Are you serious? No, you didn't use hashtag poop mode. It's a lie. It's lying. These people did not use that hashtag. That's what I thought. <laughs> Nobody else. Anyway, it is up on the gallery if you want to download it. Um, it uses a lot of packs and it costs 578,000 simoleons. So, um, wow. <laughs> but I really enjoyed this. I, I really, really, really like this kit, actually. I have gotten $5 plenty worth of fun out of this. So that was, I think, uh, I'm glad they made it. I think it's been a good time. Um, we just did a tour. You just missed us. Um, I'm probably going to get off stream here in a minute. I'm going to see if we can wait till the alligator comes. It should be right here. It floats up from time to time. Come on. Not the welcome wagon. I'm busy. There we go. That's my gator. <laughs> um, anyway. <laughs> Very exciting stuff. <laughs> Um, so tomorrow, I will be here tomorrow on stream. Um, we're actually going to be playing Among Us tomorrow um, because we usually play Among Us about once a month with some of our Sims friends, and tomorrow is the day. Um, and then I won't be here tomorrow. No, sorry, on Sunday. I don't stream on Sundays. On Monday, I'll be back um, and we'll be playing some Sims and stuff. Um, annoyingly, if you guys missed it, um, just a little life update. I posted it in the Discord to let you all know and talked about it yesterday, but we had originally planned to do that fundraiser at St. Jude. We've been planning for literally months, like since May, um, to, to do a stream from St. Jude on Monday. And like my parents were coming, we had all these flights booked, but uh, the hospital has asked us to reschedule due to the like weather and the ice and stuff. Um, they've had to push all kinds of events this week. Um, but they asked us to reschedule. So unfortunately, we cannot do that on Monday. Um, we've had to pivot. Um, we're planning on trying to do it instead in May. Um, we're still like trying to crack down an exact date, but um, so I usually do my big fundraiser for like the whole of May. Um, so we're gonna try and do it during that in May instead, which maybe will end up being for the best because um, we'll have some more time and, and things, I guess. But I'm kind of sad because we've been planning it for so long. Um, but uh, I, I also feel a lot of like guilt and stress over it, even though obviously it is so out of my control. It wasn't even me who asked to cancel it, you know? I just feel a lot of like, I've been like hyping it up, <laughs> you know? So I feel quite guilty that like now it's not gonna happen, even though it's not, I mean, you know, it's not my fault. Like I'm, I've asked to use this space at, at their hospital and you know, it's up to them. So anyway, um, no one can control the weather. <laughs> It's out of everybody's control, um, but it's still sad. So I, I feel quite bad about it, um, but it'll be okay. We'll, we'll make, we'll make do, we'll do something cool in May um, and we'll reschedule and stuff. Um, but anyway, I know you guys understand that. I still just feel, 
weird and guilty. <laughs> so um, it just kind of sucks. But I think on that note, I'm going to go see who all is live. Um, maybe somebody who is also playing The Sims, perhaps? Um, oh my god, you guys, listen to this. <laughs> um, Kelsey Dangerous, my friend Kelsey, is the stream title is Decorating a Blue-Themed Teen Room. I, I believe it's not so very, is my guess, but maybe I'm wrong and just excited. But you know how I feel about blue bills. <laughs> you know how I feel about blue bills. So let's go over there and say hi, shall we? Um, I believe it's the blue gen of not so berry, I think is the reason, but um, it's a funny meme, the blue thing. We're gonna make a blue house soon. Not quite yet, we're still on the green gen. Blue is next after green. Um, but have a wonderful rest of your night, everybody. Uh, happy Friday. Um, happy Drag Race Day if you celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> it's on in like 30 minutes, I'm just saying. Um, I stayed on stream too long, I have to make dinner fast. Um, go Plasma, and um, I'll catch you all later, okay? <laughs> have a good night, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. I love building castles. This was so fun. <laughs> okay, bye! <laughs> and stop.